There's there's always bantering. There should always be bantering. The good bantering did not get. That's not part of it now. No, no. You skipped all over that, it. All, all right. that stuff we just talked. We just yeah. spent that half hour talking that was about the all best that really fucking good. show ever. <laughs> the, 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 oops. Banter, the banter show. What was that line from Happy Days? Oh, enough pictures with the lens cap on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is this is this is one that this is blew my mind. Okay, so before we get going on this, I, I read this. I just I, there's a principal in New York. I, she's some kind of crazy lady who banned pencils because she doesn't want kids to fix mistakes. Oh, I heard about that. I think there was a teacher. It was a teacher. It was a no, teacher. No. How does that solve anything if they don't have fucking erasers? Why don't you just take erasers away from them? Well, no, they, pencils have erasers. I mean, what kind of pencil do you have? A golf pencil. Well, most kids an chew the fucking erasers off their pencils. What nowadays? Wait, yeah. what, what school? Yeah. Hey, 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 Mark. Yeah. The, the class you were in when you got there on that really yeah. short bus yeah. and you got out. Can we, can we start over? In the basement? I don't want that to get on the air. Can we start over? Yeah, yeah. When you guys were in the basement, is that what you guys when, had for when, lunch? When, when erasers. You got, <laughs> so when you get off the bus, you wear your headphones like this, so you don't you don't hear, so you don't get distracted by yeah. <laughs> noises. What, 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 you don't want them to hear all the kids have extra large erasers upstairs, <laughs> not in the basement though. So I thought there was a teacher somewhere that the that they wanted to get fired because the teacher was out of control and. You know, no, there's all sorts of that stuff. Okay, yeah, but yeah so. this this particular one, I think it was in New York. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and she was uh, she's very very intense on no fixing mistakes. But, which, that's, but that's how you learn. I would say, man, but don't you learn from your mistakes? So she's a politician. She's a senator then. <laughs> yeah, because they took all the pencils away from the senators. No, noblemen, <laughs> and senators. No, no, they did not. No. no. I was say, Jesus, well, I was afraid they're going to stab themselves. No, yeah. I just thought that was really weird. Like you're teaching someone that they could never make a mistake. I love pencils. I'd rather write with a pencil than a pen. You know My what? handwriting I'm is torn. way fucking better with the pencil, and I don't understand it. I'm not kidding you. <laughs> I was kind of a fan of the pencil. Is that, do you, no, does your handwriting look different when you write with a pencil versus a pen, or is it identical? Uh, I don't know. I don't I know what I, I know. My, my handwriting has gotten worse over the years, so now it like, looks like a skip. Mine with a pen is like horrible. horrible. When, when I, with a pencil, I look like I'm a normal person. Yes. You, you have the, you have the, it's you have the writing of the white, the writing of William Shakespeare. Yeah. You with a pencil is the king. No, I, king's English. Oh, when I write with a quill, it's even yeah, better. Quill, the quill. That's what we need a quill. We need to bring back the quill. Yeah. You dip it in the ink with the large Dipping. printer. Oh, speaking of back. quills and like back in the day, did you see that those two actors from Romeo and Juliet? They're in their seventies now. The original Romeo and Juliet um, I saw, I saw movie, this. yeah, in 1968. I guess she showed her boobs and. Her boobs. Her boobs. And um, I don't know what he, I, I guess his rear end or something, his butt. And they were underage. Well, she was 15 and he was 16. So, right, yeah. right. And now, and now. Oh, that's a suing. Yeah, they're now suing. Now they're suing. Isn't the statute of limitations up on that one? Well, I mean, not a, that's not a thing, though. How far this, can you go back? You but know? I mean, at, at what point did somebody tell them that they couldn't, I mean, are, are they that desperate for money? I don't understand it. Wait, I, mean, so they, I think so, it's so not for a, money. Just, I think it's more they're it's trying the, to. It's, oh, it's the principle of it. Yeah, and well, they're trying to set a precedent because they're like. Oh, precedent. But, 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 but what about Brooke Shields, though? She was naked when she was like 14 Blue, or Blue 15 Lagoon. Blue Lagoon. Blue Lagoon, yeah. I guess she's, it's, it's going to be a class yeah. action suit. Yeah. I don't know. I remember the Andrews sisters, they had to like lift their dress when they when they were dancing in front of the World War II servicemen. I think we should exhume her body and, and bring, you know, bring, you know, bring well, a, she's, I'm sure she's got family. <laughs> someone, someone, I'm sure someone wolf whistled her at some point <laughs> at, at, at that, at that, at the Army base in 1938. So let's, we should, we should investigate that. I, you know what? I don't understand. She's any been, obje- of it. she's been objectified. It's like the we it's like the that. dude that sued Nirvana when he was an infant. Oh yeah, for that picture in the pool. You see what? That, the, yeah, that famous yeah, photo, the, 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 the Nirvana cover album, like the baby who's coming he up from the it, pool. Yeah, he was fine with it for his whole life, and then he's like, "Wait a minute, I can make some money off of this." Well, I mean, you know, you can't blame him for that. So you know, but how do they prove that was his his tushy? No, it was no, his face. I think it was his face. No, it was, oh, it was a tushy. It was, it was a tushy. Was, the kid. Yeah, you're right. I don't know. No, I, 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 I the album the cover is completely naked. Oh, that's a right. Baby it's in a pool. He's, he's like two. I, no, or he one. wasn't even two. He was like one year. He was one. Yeah, he wasn't like even he's, one. He's, he's, like he's nine. You know. <laughs> no, but I mean, it's a naked. It was a naked baby in the pool. <laughs> Let's just get over it. You know, all babies look the same. <laughs> but he sued because he said it was child pornography. Yeah. <laughs> that would be that would be the funniest thing in the world. What are you suing for? He was a baby. Uh, uh, no, I'm sorry. He's 11. Yeah, he was 11. That's that was really weird. The defense. I'm calling. I'm, as, if I'm if I'm def- if I'm uh, you know defending that case, I'm calling an expert. I'm like Jerry Sandusky. Can you look at this picture and tell <laughs> us, this, Mr. Sandusky? Sandusky. Sandusky. Is this, <laughs> is this dirty? Hey, where is that guy? He's in jail. Yeah, he pr- is. Prison. Okay. He's in prison. Yeah, he's in prison. Yeah. I think it's an unspecified prison. That's uh, yeah. Okay. Undisclosed location. Yeah. Undisclosed yeah. location. Yeah. yeah. Man, I was just thinking about that the other day because the, whole, the Penn State game the other night. Oh yeah. And I was thinking about that, and I I could not, and I was wondering, he did get arrested, he did go to jail, 
Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's. He's. I don't remember that. the outcome of that. I just remember being like, Jesus. I, I don't think he could get off. Oh wait, sorry, that was wrong. No. Uh, no, I think he's he's big time. Yeah. They put him in. A, uh, I thought I thought we mentioned this, but yeah, they put him in a place where nobody knows. So I guess the. I don't know. Well, he's got to be in solitary confinement because, you know, if he was in general population, I mean, he'd be... Well, you he's know, not in solitary I, I don't, confinement. I still don't think that's real. I don't believe that criminals get pissed off about worse, like, really bad criminals. I don't I don't believe, like, like a murderer is in there going, oh, I'm going to fuck up that child That's a thing in prison, it is. No. Yeah, it's called... They got what? nicknames for those guys. It yeah, there's, that's a real thing. It's called short eyes. Like, if you're short eyes, which means that you're a child molester. Oh, yeah, there's a special target on your back. Trust me. Yeah. So it's so so there's you. there's there's like a a, a a motto a credo a cre- in, in the an prison e- an ethos that that puts that there's a hierarchy of prisoners <laughs> like like oh what are you I'm I'm a, I'm a murderer okay you're all right I'm it, a rapist oh you're different. get over there it's go different. stand against the wall it's different every prison I've been in it's different. <laughs> <laughs> Like so, no, it's no, a state by state thing. Yeah. So, so when I was in prison, a is different no. than cell block B. You know, <laughs> that's not a thing. I've never been incarcerated. Oh man, don't don't tempt fate, my friend. Uh, Do not tempt fate. Yeah, I'm on this show. Anything could happen. Yeah, this is kind of like you know what? This is kind of like a prison. The, the basement is kind of prisony. Yeah. You should have, you, you should just, have seen I've, what it looked like I've just, after. I've just been put on restrictions tonight, apparently. So yeah, I do yeah. feel like I've been rationed. Oh yeah, and, we'll and, mention know. that. <laughs> yeah, it looked like a frat house after uh, last uh, the last show, the, the extravaganza. There were so many oh, yeah. beer bottles and wine bottles and bongs <laughs> and, and, and dildos. Now, now, were dildo, now, it's, yeah, now it's a dildos, monastery. <laughs> masturbation <laughs> sleeves. Yeah. Well, it's your fault, Ted. But we'll talk about that. I want. Ch- I still want to check out that store. <clears throat> oh, the uh, yeah. We, we, what's, actually, what's the name of that store again? Uh, early, early to bed. bed. Early to bed. Yeah. Early to bed. yeah. In uh, in Andersonville. Yep. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. So let's get this thing started. We got a lot to cover today. All right. Hey, everybody. My name is Matt, and this is the Real Three Idiots podcast. Uh, with me, as always, is the only person on earth who thinks Rex Grossman was a decent quarterback, including his mother, Mark, from Santa Claus, Indiana. <laughs> really. There thought, is a, no, there Jay is a, Cutler was from Santa Claus. There was a Santa Claus in Indiana. Rex Grossman right. was not from Santa Claus. I thought Rex Grossman was from Santa no, no, Claus. No, Jay Cutler was from Santa Claus. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, Rex, Gross, Rex Grossman was Jay from Cutler's shit definitely a better, bag better quarterback, quarterback, Iowa. He was not. Yeah, he you know that. that no, no, no. Listen to me. That after he lost a 2005 Super Bowl, and this is true, it's 100% true, his mother disowned him and changed her last name. Yeah. To Cutler. Yeah. <laughs> Ted, no sport talk. Yeah. yeah. No, sport, no sport talk. Oh, I have a Cutler jersey. He was number six. And I uh, I have not done this yet, but I want to do it because I love the jersey. It's one of the throwback Bears jerseys. Mm-hmm. Right. I just want to take the C and turn it into a B. Because that was Butthead's, Butthead's number was six. Oh, Kevin Butler. Kevin Butler. Yeah. Wow. I didn't know that, yeah. That would be Good fucking like great. That. That's pretty cool. No niche no niche sports talk. Nobody <laughs> nobody, nobody listening gives a shit. Nobody listening. Oh, by the way, what, what were the new, new countries? Uh, France, France and Nigeria. And Nigeria. Nigeria. Welcome. Nobody in Nigeria gives a flying shit. About Jay Cutler and the Chicago Bears, but hello Nigeria. Bears. Good we, morning, we know, Nigeria. I didn't give a shit about him either, and I'm in Chicago. Yeah, no <laughs> kidding. Okay, and the guy who made a horrible mistake and said he could do a show with no alcohol and it would be great, Teddy. Yeah, in hindsight, uh, <laughs> I'd like to retract that statement. But happy 2023, <laughs> happy New Year, all. Yeah, happy New Year. And looking forward to <clears throat> the first show of the year. That's this. Yes. Okay. <laughs> might not be the be- might not be the best show of the year. <laughs> Because that would be when, a pretty high bar to well, set. We already talked about this. Yeah. We're not doing we're not these fucking. Do uh, we're gonna, not doing. Oh, the first. Your, yeah. Oh, the first time I burped on. Uh, but 20- I do have to tell our listeners <laughs> all over the world. Today's January fourth. Yes, it is. Two day. Two days ago was January second. If my math is correct. In Chicago, January second. Where were the three idiots? Golfing. Golfing. Yep. Three in, idiots. In, not, in, no, 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 in Chicago. Not out of state. Yeah. But in Chicago. Yeah. Yeah. We we're golfing in Chicago. That was fucking awesome. It was a good, it was a really good time. Four, two, what forty six degrees, maybe forty seven. Two weeks after a minus thirty five degree day, where you could literally die by being outside for more than five minutes. So yeah, that was. And a big I believe turnaround. Ted had four, five pars. Yeah, something insane like that. Yep, he covered his twenty three strokes. It was a, it was a DNF. But, oh, uh, <laughs> for all of us, but it and was Mark. Fun. Mark got a birdie. Mark did get a birdie. Oh yeah, That's right. Yeah, yeah, I forgot yeah. about that. that. I played pretty fucking good, man. You, did, you, you, played, you actually yeah. did really good. Yeah. Okay, so if you listen to the extravaganza, whoa, yeah. hey, hey. whoa, Jesus <laughs> Christ! Uh, if you listen to the extravaganza, <laughs> um, at one point my sister brought up about doing a show sober. Uh, so we're gonna try it, right? Ted said he could do it. He said it'd be great. Yeah, so he. This is so funny. He walked downstairs. I had a little glass of water right by his chair, and he looks. He goes, "Oh!" And he goes like this. He goes, "Oh, a glass of water for me." 
and he takes a, this tiny little drink, right? <laughs> like what he does when he, when we're at the bar, he orders a Crown and Diet and a glass of water, and he has one tiny little drink of water and never touches it again. And then he looks over, and there's this beautiful unopened bottle of Knob Creek <laughs> just sitting about five feet away. And he walks over, he goes, oh, that's for me. And I actually slapped his hand. I actually slapped his hand. I go, nope. I said, you're the dumbass who said that we should do a show, that you agreed that we could do a show sober. So this is completely sober. So if at any time Ted freaks out or becomes catatonic, um, it's because he probably hasn't gone this long without drinking since he was about seven years old. Yeah, there you go. That's, that's, that's my dog. That's barking right now yeah, for whiskey. Yeah, yeah. That's Ted barking for whiskey. You know, it's funny when you put that glass of water, he's probably thinking, man, you know what? Fucking Matt is so thoughtful. He's think- he knows I'm going to drink a lot tonight. Hydrate. I was dehydrated a little bit, but thank you. Yeah, but and Teddy, I I will tell you this: we're going to go out after the show and have a few drinks. Is that okay? I like that idea. Yeah, okay, good idea. (laughs) (laughs) This you make up for it. (laughs) Tell me, Teddy probably didn't drink on the way here in the car just because he knew we were going to drink. Yeah, let's not get crazy. I I don't remember Jackie suggesting this, and I don't remember Ted agreeing to it. I don't remember this. That was Jackie's idea. Yeah, so, well, somebody that's, I think um, somebody had great. a question. Thank you. Somebody Jackie. asked a question that if we could do it sober, um, oh. instead of you know, or why we drink all the time, or you know, oh, I, I did. Yeah. That was my question. Of course, right. we okay. could do it. Oh, that's <laughs> right. Yeah. No, no, no. I wrote the question, but I don't remember her suggesting <laughs> that we actually follow through with that. I just said, you know, how would the show be different if you didn't drink and Ted didn't drink? Would it be any different? Of course, we could do. We're not. We're not one trick ponies. We can do anything we want. I'm sorry, I can't think about anything except within, beer. Within reason. <laughs> yeah, I got a headache. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it was so funny that you guys talked about, that we talked about Sarah's sex toy store, because the first thing that I want to do before we get into uh, uh, Teddy's uh, 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 tips for tips, Teddy's tips, tips for all, is tips I want to make all. sure that you guys know, I, want, I heard about this, um, over the break, two things happened that I thought were crazy. Number one, a 400-pound Canadian woman she was on a Tinder date, didn't get laid. She walked out, found it's now it's 30 below, 35 below zero in Canada at this time. Mm-hmm. She straddled a fire hydrant <clears throat> to try to excite herself really? and got stuck. Wow. Yep, she got stuck. This is, real, this is true. This is a true story. Yeah. 100% true. Yeah. 100% true. She got stuck to yeah. the fire hydrant. Wow. Matt's news of the weird. 400 pounds. And then as the firemen came and were trying to get her unstuck, she complained that they needed to hurry up. And the firemen said, are you ready? Hey, w- we're going as fast as we can. Nobody ever trained to get a woman <laughs> off a fire hydrant. In the middle of the freezing weather, yeah, that's a new one. So that's yeah. like, is that what, so that's like when you lick the pole and right. your, your tongue sticks yeah. to the pole, except, but it wasn't her except, except something else stuck to the stuck, yeah. stuck to yeah. the hydrant. And then you ready for this? In France, a guy walked into the emergency room and he had stuck in his ass an unexploded artillery shell that was you ready eight inches long and two inches wide. Wow. And I know what you're thinking. That's that's insane, right? Oh except God. that, except that last year the same exact thing happened to a guy in England. Wow. He had a, a, the a, same a, shell. This <laughs> <laughs> was that was that circa the Korean War or World War II? Those they have those. those they were World War II. They still have those unexploded. You know, they still have unexploded uh, bombs like you know throughout like yeah, France from like, World War II. So and it World could have and, detonated. So how the fuck yeah, did they, he get? They had to he clear. Gingerly, he, he, he probably called the, 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 the bomb squad. They had to clear the. clear the. They had to clear the the yeah. hospital mm-hmm. and call in the bomb squad while they took this thing. No, out you of know his what you do? You put them in a room. You shut the door with a microphone and you just say, "Push, push." Clear the building. No, no, you know it's like it's like the equivalent of like obviously you want it to be discreet because obviously it's a very embarrassing situation, but you have to kind of discreet? let some let There's some. No discreet. Well, I mean you're in the emergency room, but like they have uh, yeah. to call in like multiple other parties. It's like sure. if you go, it's like if you go to the supermarket <laughs> and you say and you have to buy some 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 hemorrhoid medication. And they say, oh, we need to check on this preparation H at the front at, at register one, and everyone's like. These extra small condoms, uh, we don't. Are these out of stock? Are they? We the barcode's not coming up on these. That's when Ted says, "Oh wait, this isn't hand lotion. My bad. <laughs> I, I didn't want this." So listen. So okay. So just the, as a little deal here, um, go to earlytobed dot com and find something that you're supposed to put in your butt. Okay, safely. Safely, right? Things that belong in your butt, yeah. and not something like, you're supposed to sit on. No, well, didn't we not talk about fire hydrant? Didn't we talk about not that show where there's hydrant. a flange yeah. on on the on butt the plug anal, to keep it yeah, going up anal your anal material, yeah. uh, the anal uh, toys, so it doesn't go all, all right. the way up your rectum. So, <laughs> so, you, so don't you know to go what? To the emergency room. That guy, if that guy would have just you know attached some sort of uh, a flange on there, he'd have been fine. Yeah, yeah. So it's all about the flange. Yeah, except that he was <laughs> he was at home sticking 
World War II <laughs> artillery shells up his ass, and that was his this idea of a good just, time. I don't even know. There must not have been anything good on Netflix that night. I'm it's assume. hard, right? <laughs> it's, it's, it's difficult to fathom. Okay, um, before we get to Ted's tips, I need to let you know that we are changing it up a little bit, okay? Um, folks on our social media have been complaining a little bit that Teddy kind of repeats his tips. Um, and, and yeah, Mark and I agree. Uh, <laughs> well, you know, maybe someone's hearing it for the first time, but I agree with that. Yeah. So N- no, no, no one's hearing it for the first time. So in order to fix that, we're changing up Ted's tips for twenties to just plain Ted's tips. But you okay. know what? Tips, in, for, in tips Ted, for all. Tips well, for all. Ted's tips. Yeah. That's it. Just Ted's in tips. Ted's defense though. He is a dad. So he has a tendency <clears throat> to repeat himself. Yeah. Stop it. Stop it. Get <laughs> the fuck out of here. <laughs> okay, so each week we'll be taking suggestions from the folks on our social media for what Teddy should be tipping. And we already have a bunch of stuff because, like I said, Teddy's the most popular guy on social media. So people have already given us tons and tons of ideas, and we're going to use those ideas. But if you have something, get on to our TikTok, our Instagram, our Facebook uh, send us emails or three certified idiots uh, at gmail.com. Send us uh, anything and we will uh, have Teddy tip it. And this way, he's, he, we're going to tell him ahead of time. Okay. And then he'll have one entire week to not do anything. They can catch us <laughs> on, our, on our website, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I for, totally forgot about that. What's our website, Mark? The Real Three Idiots.com. The Real Three, three Idiots. The, the number three. The, the Real Three Number Three. Idiots.com. Yeah, so hit us up on our uh, hit us up on our website. There's a little thing that says like, uh, do you have a question or something? Or contact us. I yeah, contact us, and you can do it for there. Yeah, yeah I think that's great. a great idea. I'd love to have you know show or multiple shows where we're we're, we're actually discussing uh, matters or subject material that that's strictly audience suggestions, oh, yeah. tips. Yeah, I love that. Well, today's yeah. today's is too. Okay. The pressure's yeah. off. The pressure's off him because. Well, yeah, if the pressure's yeah. off him to not do anything right. for one week and sit here in three <laughs> minutes yeah. with a pen and a paper. Yeah. Okay. I like this. All right, so let me do our sponsor, and then we've got something special. We got a little song, mm-hmm. yeah, and then uh, and then you'll be all set to go, Teddy. And then you'll have to tell everybody what the tip is for. Not now. Just wait till after. Okay, <laughs> wait till after I do this. All right. Um, from BS Books and Half Ass Learning comes a book that will change your life: The Supreme Court for Dummies. Are you running for a Supreme Court position, but you aren't hideously bigoted, homophobic, live in the past, or aren't just insanely unqualified? This book is for you. This book will help you roll back women's rights, treat marginalized people like second-class citizens, and make sure you don't have or develop any empathy ever. The Supreme Court for Dummies will make sure that you see basic human rights as a thing of the past. Don't let good judgment, compassion, or the law stop you from being on the Supreme Court. Get the Supreme Court for Dummies today and let the people with no voice know you don't give a shit. Nice. Oh man! I that went is... to check that book out, but uh, the Park Ridge Library was already checked out. Was was it? Re- yeah, yeah, you know what? It's going to be very, very popular. I, you know, I they don't have like... the Dewey Decimal System there either, so it was very hard to find. <laughs> the, Dewey, I remember the, Dewey, the Dewey Decimal System. Let's be. Hey, you want to do it alphabetically? Nope. <laughs> Uh, you, you, you want to do it by title? Absolutely not. Uh, topic? No. How about random weird numbers that no one knows except a librarian? Yeah, or how about the other one, the microfiche? Yeah. The micro oh, that's microfiche. job security, that's right? For, yeah, that's that's job security. News. If you if, if you use the Dewey Decimal System, <laughs> you can either walk back and forth endlessly through a library, which I don't know if anybody even goes to. We anymore. all had to learn that in school, though. Oh yeah, we got yeah, tested. I, I know, it. I know. At the did, world's yeah. worst, the world's worst library teacher ever. We talked about it though. Yeah, world's worst ever. Okay, uh, Teddy, are you ready for your awesome song? Yes, I am. But okay. I'm not singing it. Hopefully, You're, so. oh, <laughs> God no, not after <laughs> not after uh, the uh, one time I, I heard you had, sing. I it. wish we had <laughs> background music though. Well, isn't that kind of cheating? Yeah, yeah. Okay, that could be a copyright infringement. Mark. Okay, <laughs> uh, Mark, hit it. Ted's got tips, and I'm not lying. And Ted's losing control Cause the tips that Ted's applying They're terrifying (laughs) You better speak up Cause I need a tip And my heart is set on your horse You better speak up Cause it's going bad Please don't leave me wanting more Wanting more Please don't leave me wanting more you got, got the, the tips that I want. Come on, Teddy, now. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You got the tips that I want. Come on, Teddy, now. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Nice. Wow, that's pretty impressive. We've you know, been practicing nice. all year for this. Yep, yep. <laughs> oh, oh, man. I thought we weren't going to do that. The whole year two, working two, on that Two one. drink minimum. So. No, I got to you know, right, so. admit, John Travolta, back in the day, he was a... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm, I'm not, you know, 
I'm just going to give him his props. You know, he was a ridiculously good looking guy. You know, like he was in Greece. And you know, I'll be honest with you, I still sometimes watch the clip of him with the living Newton John in Greece, like on the beach. Oh, like she was super love. hot. Yeah, I yeah. loved it. Oh no, yeah. no, I, I don't like it till she. I don't like it till she's hot. already till she's dressed up in those black uh, yoga pants. Or oh yeah, pants. yeah, yeah, yeah. Once that gets going, they they got me. They had me hooked. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like him demure. What's that? What's that line for <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger? Slut, no, slut. Demure, no, no, slutty, <laughs> yeah. very slutty. Yeah, he showed that side of her. So yeah, yeah. Okay, rest in peace, Ted. Yeah. What is your topic for today? Well, it's kind of a general topic, but I can expand on it a little bit. Um, so, what st- did they, what did someone want you to give a tip on, Ted? No, nobody give me any feedback. Are you fucking high right now? I might no. be, <laughs> Ted. I told you that the the tip you were going to give. Was where to take someone on a first oh, date. Oh, that's right. That's right. First date tip. Yes. Okay. Okay. Wait a minute. Hold yeah, on a I, second. I wrote that down, but I didn't write it in that context. I thought we were just going to discuss that in an ancillary way, not the actual tip <laughs> itself. I can't believe you fucked this up. You have to be very specific. This is impossible. I can. I can. I can. I can, I can adjust. I'm, I'm I can hyper, adjust. I'm hyperventilating adjust. right put now. Your, Ted, Ted, put your pen down. I don't even know why I gave you a pen. It's it's first date. It's, you know what? You know what? I was wondering it's what like he's right. Call the time. He's like chimp. thinking I got to come up with a tip. And no, a... I got it. I got it. Okay. It's okay. easy. Yes. It's easy. It's like giving a chimp a computer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so here's here's what I'll tell you. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no, no. The tip that the the person sent us something and they said we want can I want to know. First a date. tip from Ted, where to take someone on a first date. I will date. tell you right now. I will tell that person right now. Okay. May I speak? <sighs> okay, first let me start by saying the tip, where to take someone on a first date. First let me tell you where not to take them. Do not take <laughs> them. Do not take them to a movie. Because the whole the whole standard, let's go to dinner or a movie, is like the worst possible thing you could do because it's the end of the day. You know, change, okay, let's assume we, we all work for a living. So, okay, you got you got this hot date lined up. It's 7 o'clock. So you've just worked all day. So now you got to run home, shower, change, you know, put on that whole dog and pony show when you're meeting someone for the first time. And I go to dinner. Wait, I, wait, does that imply that, like, the third and fourth <laughs> date, you just come all scuzzy and sweaty <laughs> right from chew, the gym? Chew with your mouth open. Yeah, no. <laughs> no so. Anyway, so, no, we're trying to make that good first imp- impression on the first date. Yeah, but but it's counterintuitive because be- we've been beating into our heads for years. Oh, dinner and a movie, blah, blah, blah. But here's, here's the sure. th- bad thing with that. Okay, you go to dinner. Assuming it's the end of the day, you're tired, you have this, you know, mm-hmm. let's assume you have like a, a reasonable a reasonable meal, now you're more tired, now you're going to go see a two-hour movie, and now you have to sit next to the person without talking to them for two hours. Yeah. Oh, you, you say that for, you're, after you've been married for 20 years. Yeah. That's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you want to ignore your spouse, yeah. then you go to the Honey, we're going to a seven-hour <laughs> movie. It's going to be the we're, highlight of my We're going to watch Dances with Wolves three times. <laughs> <laughs> Best date and, ever. And the, and the English patient. Nine-hour nap. Nine-hour nap. <laughs> yeah, watch the English patient if you need to fall asleep within 20 minutes. <laughs> I, I don't like those kind of movies. Yeah, anyway. Okay, so don't take them to... Don't take them to the movie. Okay. Don't take them to the movie. Okay, so... The be, the be, so the, where you take them is... Yes. And this, it's super simple. Like, best time to meet for a date, first date, morning, Dunkin' Donuts or a Starbucks or just like a local coffee house because you know why? Number one, you just wake up, you're refreshed, you shower up, you throw on, you know, you throw on your, you know, some sweatpants, woman throws on some nice yoga pants and, you know... You're gonna to go to a first date. Absolutely, absolutely. Listen, listen, and listen. In and, sweatpants. And, and listen, listen. Not, no, not sweatpants. I mean, they could be the nice sweatpants. They could be. They could be not sweatpants. Nice sweatpants. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, you ever, okay. Well, you ever heard the expression? You ever heard the expression? Nice sweatpants. No, I've never heard that. Have you ever heard I've the expression? I've heard, expre- heard, heard somebody say, "Hey, nice sweatpants." <laughs> what? But oh, never. Ted. Nice Ted, that guy was. You know what, Mark? Good job, Ted. That guy was making fun of you. That guy was making fun of you. Okay. You ever heard the expression that? You ever hear the expression, Mark, that you could put lipstick on a pig, but it's still a pig? Yeah. With sweatpants. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. The point I'm trying to make is that, you know, if if the other significant other that you're going on a date with, man or woman, is interested, you know, I'm not saying we're like ripped sweatpants with like spaghetti stains on it or like you just no, had pizza you're on casual, it. Nice. Yeah, you're casual. Yeah. Casual, and, and yeah. plus, don't forget this too. In the morning, women's estrogen and men's testosterone levels are elevated, so they're mm. more focused. Focused, yeah. yeah. Mm. And it's and it's really because the first date is really more about a get to know you, meet and greet. So the amenities around you are really immaterial. <laughs> so yeah, maybe take a walk on a nature trail if yeah. the weather's nice. Meet for coffee, but yeah, going on that that date late, you know, late in the day after work, mm. and you got to put in your best effort. And especially with that silly movie thing, it's just it's just counterintuitive to what you should be doing because you're trying to get to know the person. It's not really about where you are, you know, it's about the right. company you keep, but you know, you want to have that rapport with them. So yeah, I think that just that early, me- there's no pressure and think, okay, because if it's a dud, you got it over with first thing in the morning. It's like getting a shot at the doctor, right? It's over with. You don't have to think about it and you can go on with your day, you know? <laughs> I, how was it? How was a date? Uh, it was a lot like, you know, it was a lot like when I got that shot at the doctor. <laughs> exactly. yeah, yeah. Rabies so, shots. Got it over with. <laughs> Rabies yeah. shots. I, I have to tell you, my, my, my first date with my wife of 20 years now was a movie and, okay. and dinner. 
Okay, well, that's okay. That's okay, though. Do you want to know what Don't movie you... it was? Yeah, what movie was it? I Spit on Your Grave. Say it. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good movie, by the way. <laughs> if you say Dances with Wolves, I don't want to All right, what was it? What movie was it? It was, um, oh, man. There's Something About Mary. Something About Mary, yeah. It's I been love that. for 20 yeah. years? Yeah, that's a great well, movie. Well, no, that movie, was. it was in 1998. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, it was before we were married. But Oh, that was your first date, huh? So yeah, you had, yeah. So was, uh, did you go, like, what, did you remember if it was, like, a weekday, like, after work? No, it or was, was um, planned, or? you know what, it was a Saturday night. Okay. Yeah, we went to, we saw it downtown at the theater on Ohio Street. Oh, nice. And then went to that Mexican joint uh, right down there. So did you, was, did you actually see her in person before you had that first Yeah, date? we met at a Cubs game. Okay. After a Cubs game. Yeah. Okay, so you had seen yeah, her. Okay. So, yeah, no, actually, yeah. So we actually spent some time together okay, so I'm not, uh, I'm not, at, at, uh, at the bar and stuff like okay, that. Okay, so I'm not counting that. I'm talking about if you're seeing but someone. this was a true first date. Yeah, but no, you're, you're right, though. No, I like your idea. I like your idea yeah. a lot. You think about it. You know. I mean, yeah. you can go see the movie breakfast anytime you want. in the morning, first yeah. thing in the morning. Yeah, a light breakfast. A people, something yeah. something where you're active, where you're walking, you're talking, because yeah. that way, that actually that actually takes the nerves away, too. You know, like people who are naturally nervous around meeting new people. If you're walking and moving around, it kind of takes the jitters away. I no, did, I, I, I that, but Ted's my first my go to first date was always a movie. Okay, for everybody. Yeah, the funniest thing was I took a girl to go see. You ready? Oh God, mm. go ahead. So she was like a year younger than me. She wasn't really up to Boogie Nights. With the, about yeah, the, the, porn? Por- the porn movie. The porn yeah. movie. So we get in the Boogie Nights. Yeah, and it's like that opening scene with uh, uh, with um, uh. Mark Wahlberg? <laughs> yeah. Yes, Mark yeah. Wahlberg. Dirk, you mean Dirk Diggler. And, yeah. Dirk Diggler. Oh, when and, he shows her when he's got a he's like, Yeah, when he's like... Oh, I thought that he, was the last scene. I thought that was the last well, scene. Well, no, it That's, opened like that. He shows oh. him his, his, his enormous member. Enormous. So <laughs> she looks at me and she says, what kind of movie did you take me to? And I go, it's Marky Mark. It's Burt Reynolds. <laughs> I'm like, no good? She's like, no good. So we got up and okay. we went to the theater next door and saw fucking uh, some of some, SpongeBob, some girl movie. which is still the best movie so, no, uh, ever made. Movie? So, uh, something, something about with Mary? the pants with the uh, that. Oh, the uh, traveling pants. That, that, the traveling pants movie. Coyote Ugly? Oh, I don't know. No, it's, it's actually <laughs> something about the traveling pants or something. <laughs> yeah. about I that. swear to God, but she looks at me and goes, "What kind of movie?" I was, I was like, and then the next day I had to go fucking see that movie because that's a great movie. Yeah. But okay, so th- you know what, Teddy? I can't see. This is okay, and this is the difference between drunk Ted and sober Ted. That this was a, a co- coherent thought, that makes sense. So look at you, Ted. No, here's another. Here's one. Here's a, here's a bonus tip. Oh God. Here's a bonus tip. Oh, okay. you're gonna ruin it. And I'm not saying this applies to <laughs> me or anybody in this room, but but <laughs> a drunk smart guy is still smarter than a sober stupid guy. <laughs> Just remember that. Okay. Sometimes they're one no, and the same. Yeah, don't 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 remember that, folks. Do not remember that. Okay. Um, do you guys go to church at all, Mark? You go to church? Church of the Poison Mind. I, I <laughs> love that. It's like the church of the not, not anymore. Cover we we did when the kids were younger, you know. But I, and I convert. I was I was born and raised uh, one one side, and then I kind of went to the other side. So you mean the Democrat to Republican? No, what's uh, close? What's, I was uh, I was born I, well, I was born Roman Catholic. I was raised no, Roman now Catholic, and now uh, Lutheran. How is that it's the what, other side? It's watered down Catholicism. It's yeah. awesome, but it's not the other side. It's it's the same side of a coin. It's just it's, a different corner it's of it. It's a lot different. Well, I was born a Calvinist, but now I'm a Seventh Day Adventist. Yeah, that you know, be, So yeah. I mean, so it's a little confusing, you know. Oh right? my God, you are so <laughs> full of shit. Okay, so you guys know that sometimes churches move from locations, right? I mean, there's there's lots of good and, reasons, and their tax exemptions move with them. No, no, well, that's mean, why I don't go to church anymore. They moved. We couldn't find them. Right. Well, sometimes you move, like the building has problems. Sometimes right. there's a fire or natural disaster. Sometimes Joel Osteen doesn't open his door for people who who had a, a major flood in the area, you know, right. until he's forced to. Yeah. And yeah. slut shamed into it. And, and yeah, sometimes, I know what you mean. sometimes, <laughs> yeah. And sometimes your church advocates uh, hateful homophobic ideals and gets protested every single day. Yeah. Welcome to the steadfast Baptist Church in Hearst, Texas. Texas. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. So their church um, basically is, if you get online, it's it's amazing. It is absolutely amazing. Oh, they're, stuff. They're, they have an online presence. Of course they do. Yeah, and Wait, they. What's this called again? I'm going to write this the down. The Steadfast Baptist Church in Hearst, Texas. S T E A D Fast Baptist. Yep, yep. And uh, there's some sweet pastors there who are spreading uh, Jesus's love by advocating. Are you ready for this? Killing gay people. Wow. Yep. 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 Isn't that nuts? And he also, now this one was funny, I thought, because he's trying to make a good analogy, right? Trying to prove a point. He said he would rather eat Indian food with ranch dressing, barf it up, and eat it again, rather than have butt sex with a dude. 
That was that was his. Well, you yeah, know, you, that you, was you, part of his sermon. But you don't, but, yes, but you don't have to do either. Sick. That is, you don't have to do either. Of the I, we have free will. You don't right. have to. You know, you don't have. Mm. Like, like I said, you don't have to agree with certain segments of the population how they live their life. You just don't have to partake in it. So no one's forcing yeah. him to do that. Well, here's my problem. I don't like Indian food at all. I'm pretty like, sure like Jesus curry. was against <laughs> killing, no matter no matter what the reasons for. Well, I mean, not if you have to eat say, Indian no, food. I'm sure. Yeah, I mean, That's was a, there even Indian food back like then? It's a strange analogy. I'm surprised he didn't say that Korean food or, you know. I, that, that was his choice. But now, surprisingly, they lost their lease and they cannot <laughs> find a place. So every time they try to find a new place, um, no one will rent to them or lease to them. And they are getting upset because they are not able to find a place to get people together to preach their hate. Well, which, it sounds like, sounds like they didn't lose their lease. They lost their way. As Jesus would say. <laughs> Whoa. T- Damn, Ted. Sober Ted is... Cr- you are just awesome. I love Sober Ted. You know what they're probably going to do? They're probably going to have to buy some land on the side of a mountain somewhere in Utah and build their own compound like David Koresh. You know, yeah. you know, you know how that one ended. Yeah. So, yeah. He did build his own, didn't he? Yeah. And then, you know, you know he basically, you know, you know he kind of had the Jesus look, you know, played the guitar, and then he went ape shit, and then the ATF had didn't to go he, in there and... Didn't you know, he just, play. like, fill the place with chicks and bang them all? Yeah. He could, like Charles Manson, you know, he just you could, you could just do that without the religious angle. But, yeah, if the, if the Wait, woman was thinks he, you're... Was that in Waco, Texas? That was Waco, Texas. Yeah, yeah, yeah was back Waco, years. Yeah. And, they, and they remember he wouldn't come out of the compound. So it kind of was in the... Yeah, you're right. He did that's right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So I guess I guess you know the the message here is is if you have a unique style of uh, Jesus and uh, religion people, and this is Texas too. Yeah, this is Texas. I'm sure it's just a coincidence because we love Texas. Yeah. 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 Well, I love Texas. <laughs> yeah. All my exes live in Texas. <laughs> That's why I reside in Tennessee. But yeah. So I guess you're going to have to find a place and build it. But yeah, that, yeah. there's your message, man. Yeah, if you problem. have a unique message, you're yeah. going to find it's going to be hard. Like like Sarah said, she had trouble. Finding a place to sell her sex toys, this guy yeah. Yeah. Um, has the same problem. I'm pretty sure it's a little different, but yeah. yeah. Well, except he just wants to promote hate. Well, she was well, she was on the cutting edge of something that people didn't really understand before. But this other this group in Texas is obviously not on the cutting edge of anything, you know. So well, yeah. I think they're on the cutting edge of being complete and total assholes. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so here's the thing: Are you guys ready for this, Teddy? Mark, Elon Musk is looking for a new CEO. Please take your time, gentlemen. Plead your case for the job. Who wants it? We're referring to Twitter now. Twitter. Wait, yes. Yeah. Oh, for Twitter, yeah. Right. Yeah, okay. Ted, what qualifies you to be the CEO of Twitter? Well, there's a lot of misinformation out there. And you're part of it. And, Excellent. And, <laughs> and I'm, and I'm going to be the one who determines what's misinformation and what's real information. Feed because me, because, what, because whoever says, uh, I know about misinformation first, they're definitely telling the truth. <laughs> <laughs> as long as you're the first one to say, that, you know, I'm the misinformation police. Right. <laughs> that means everything you say is truthful, correct? Okay. Oh, yeah. that's just a joke. No, that's actually not I, true at all. No, man, right. I, I think that you're onto something with him uh, buying Twitter for what a couple hundred grand, forty-four, like forty-four billion, fifty-four thousand dollars, fifty-four thousand, fifty-four thousand. Yeah. Uh, so he, he, so he, buy, he buys Twitter, and uh, then he decides he doesn't want to buy Twitter. Then they take him to court, and before it gets that far, he says, "All right, fine, I'll fucking buy it." So he buys it, right? Decides to step down as CEO if everybody suggests that that's what he should do, and he did. So now he's looking for a new one. Right. So and you why... asking Ted and I to uh, uh, kind of do our spiel to become the new CEO, I think you're on to something. I think that's exactly what he wants because I think he wanted just to shut it down in the first place. I think he bought it to shut it down. Really? Yeah. To sabotage it? Because, you know, you said that he's 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 actually not smart. No, Ted said he's, he's not smart. Somebody said, he's, I never he, said that. he's very intelligent. I, mean, he, I think he's on the spectrum. I think, but he's well, like, yeah. I think he's like, I don't want to say like Asperger's. But socially, but he's, but he's, oh, you know what, Johnny, I think it was can't say that last anymore. show that Johnny, Johnny said he was not smart. Johnny's, Johnny, yeah. Remember? That's who it was. Yeah, yeah. John said that. Yep. So John said he's not yeah. smart, like he has high intellect, but he just doesn't make good, normal, like everyday uh, common sense decisions. He's not good around people, all this and all that. But, but, but you know, when I you don't have, think when he's you have stupid. He didn't spend that money. When you have $20 billion, right. you can afford a lot of missteps in life. Just He's got be, way more than $20 billion. When you have $200 billion. I know Tesla stock has gone down recently, but you know, you know, what, you know what the old joke is? If you're poor, you're crazy. If you're rich, you're eccentric. Yeah, but he's, not, <laughs> he's rich, but he's not dumb in the way that he handled this transaction. Twitter's not worth that much money. In fact, Twitter's not worth anywhere near that much money. Well, Tesla's, he, not, worth, Tesla's not worth that much money. Yeah, but Twitter, yeah. he, it's not worth the amount of money he paid for it. Right. So why did he pay for it? Because he's stupid? No. Why did he just fuck everything up and decide to step down? Because he's stupid? No. he's This is intentional. So he's going to hire me, and that shit's going to go down like a fucking Led Zeppelin. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you're saying you want the job so you can fuck it up, 
And I would be perfect. Dist- I would be perfect. <laughs> like a tra- like a Trojan horse. I would meet every goal that he's setting. <laughs> to not crash hit. and burn Twitter. I couldn't put up with this shit. I would just be like, ah, say whatever the fuck you want. But, I don't care. Oh, man, but that would make Twitter awesome. I hate Twitter. I know. I don't. I mean, I've I never don't, actually been on Twitter. I'm not a. I'm not a. I yeah, I've, I've only, read some Twitter quotes. Sometimes but you have to be on Twitter it. to keep up with things yeah. that you know, because people use Twitter now, like they started using Facebook. Well, like Trump, if well, you Trump didn't weren't on it, you didn't know what the yeah. fuck was Trump, going Trump on. Trump was using Twitter yeah. almost every day during his presidency until they until they banned him. And then I think Elon Musk, when he got when he bought the company, he actually fired the head of the you know the you know the, the com- not the compliance but whoever does the censoring you know who decides what's misinformation what's not misinformation he fired that person like immediately i think he fired like half the company well, first of all there was immediately. Like 10,000 of those people but how could you even tell what's real and what's not real anymore well, I mean, that's, well, that's why that's why we're here. There's algorithms because we know what's real. Yeah, but we know what's but, real. But but on, uh, but honestly, I mean, you got you got Carrie Lake saying before the election starts in Arizona that if she loses, if she wins, it was okay. If she loses, it was obviously fraud. We still have people. There's still um, the the representative from Illinois, Mary Miller, is still is still to this day like a lot of people saying that Trump should be our president. Yeah. Man. So I mean, what's real and what's not real? People still watch that. I think that's changing, though. I think it's changing a lot. I think the misinformation era is kind of plateaued, and we're getting past it because people are kind of fucking tired of it because it can only go so far. It's driving people nuts. I'll give you an example. I, I go out to my uncle's house in Indiana. There's these people on the corner that have many flags: Trump 2020, Trump 24, the ones with him with the Rambo gun, all that shit. They're, they're <laughs> out of their minds. I went there last weekend. They're all down. And they still live there. So it's like a fad. It's They're, a fad. Okay. So I, I think people are like. Do okay, they buy the playing cards? Do they buy the Trump playing I'm cards? Sure they had everything. The trade or Trump. It's just all Trump cards. cards. It's all Trump cards. You can't lose. The, oh God! <laughs> I'm trumping my Trump cards. Okay. So all right. So let's stick with let's stick with uh, politics for a little yeah. bit. Okay. So we elect governors, Congress people, mayors, and we always wonder. What are they doing, right? When they're they're making their laws, the stuff that they're doing, you know, what kind of things? Is it mostly bullshit? Guess what? A lot of it is. Uh, we've got some new laws right here in Illinois, okay? And I think you guys will be uh, entertained with some of the things that are new laws. Um, Illinois now has a state snake. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Is it, a, is it a trouser snake? The one, it, well, this one replaces the <laughs> one-eyed we've trouser snake. One. We, we've always had one on our flag. Well, the one-eyed trouser snake. Yeah, but this Jake, one... Called, there is a flag is on it, our snake. His name's Jake. Our, 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 Jake the snake. <laughs> there is a snake on our flag. Well, said, whatever it is, snake. it's going to be a new one. It's going to be the eastern milk snake. Yeah, eastern milk snake. Sounds indigenous. I'm sure it's indigenous, this too. Is, yeah. this is what, this I'm, gl- I'm glad that's what the politicians are doing. You yeah, know? This is awesome. our tax dollars, okay? Here in Illinois, and I, I, I wanted to look all over the place, we're going to celebrate Sweet Corn Appreciation Day and we, we're gonna we're gonna do a show for this. This oh, is gonna be big. About time on August first, every August first hey, is gonna be sweet corn. It's my brother's birthday. He's gonna love that. <laughs> oh my! What a lucky son of a bitch! God and damn, he always lucks out. And um, we have a new state rock. New state rock. That was money well spent. Mm-hmm. Dola Stone. Mm-hmm. It is not to be confused with the 1975 movie Dolomite. God damn it! And that's my brother's birthstone. <laughs> This is, it? is crazy. <laughs> it's like they were just. It's like they knew. They just. Knew, it's like they know yeah. him. This is me. Is it? Yeah. That's how stupid I am. Yeah. And then this one is my favorite. This is one of my favorites. This is what they did with our tax dollars and their time. They have a bill defining three things: a definition of a dentist, a dental hygienist, and a dental technician. Yeah. That is. There is a bill that was passed. Money, time was spent defining those three things so that when you go to work every day. You can say the right thing. See, whenever Robert I go to the dentist, I'm confused. Which yeah. one are you again? Yeah. <laughs> what well, do you do? It's it's worse if they're confused. Well, don't forget right, right. the don't forget the big one, the the Safety Act, which I can't remember what the acronym is for. But long story short, it's it's basically supposedly pro criminal, where it, it eliminates cash bail in some when some folks are accused of crimes, and it and it lowers the penalty on other crimes. Like for example, if someone who trespasses on your property, who's quote unquote not being violent. They won't be arrested. They'll just they'll just be gently escorted off your property. Of course, they can return anytime they want, but you know they'll just be and they'll be given a citation, a cite, you know, like a, a citation. like a like a certificate. Yeah, a certificate, <laughs> well, I mean, a certificate of completion. Congratulations, they, you trespass. You you completed the trespassing, and <laughs> here you go. Yeah, well, so. see here, that bill is like a lot of bills, right? They're huge, like thousand pages, right? Right. All right. sorts of stuffed in stuff. All, all sorts of things yeah. stuffed in there, and. Each politician from either side will say one thing about it, and the other guy will say another thing about it, and they're pro, and he's against it, and this and that. And you don't know what's bullshit, 
and you could say what you want to say, and I could say what I want to say because I hear what I hear, you hear what you hear. The only way to fucking weed through the bullshit is take the goddamn bill and read it. Yeah, but nobody's going to do what that. Did no, Nancy, what did Nancy Pelosi say the but, one time? She goes, she goes, we'll pass the bill first, then we'll find out what's in it. Yeah, yeah. She actually said that. Yeah. Yeah, I Congress. mean, I can't, tell, I can't tell you how many times I've heard you know guys say, oh, I voted for it because... You know, my the, the lobbyist told me to vote for it. I don't know what's in it. Sure. Yeah, because they, they, they go, hey, man, you know, this uh, uh, allows people to, you know, somebody come up to them and say, hey, this allows people to dump uh, uh, toxins, you know, double the amount of toxins in, in the lake uh, right here. You go, I, I didn't know that. And you're like, well, you fucking voted for it. You go, yeah, I didn't read it. Yeah, yeah that's a real thing. That's, that's what we're Vo- uh, Vote them out. Yeah. Okay, so a couple more here. Um, they have uh, they have a, passed a bill for dimension training for seniors. But the problem is, every time they announce a date for it, nobody shows up. <laughs> you said d- d- dementia. <laughs> you said dementia or dementia? Dementia. 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 Okay. Yeah. yeah. So that's yeah. kind of weird. And then this one, this one, this one is my actually my favorite. Um, this is a law. They passed a law that says you need a license to sell gas. You can't just go out on the corner like the ice cream man and sell gas. Yep. Yep. God, that's new in law. Illinois right now. Yeah. New in New in Illinois. You needed a law for that. What about petrol? Petrol is gas. It's just the. F- <laughs> that's just what foreigners call gas. Ted, <laughs> you know, it's not defined. Not that kind of gas. Yeah, define it. Um, <laughs> methane, you know, methane you, gas. You know, here, here's a, here's 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 what's great about Chicago is you don't need. We have the Great Lake Michigan, which is awesome in the summertime. You don't need a license to drive a fucking boat. There's no test to drive a boat. What? Yeah, no. You don't need a. Just have a no, couple of beers. Yeah. About, yeah, you just throw a couple of beers down yeah. and enjoy yourselves. <laughs> Okay. It's loosened up out there. Uh, you guys remember Boris Becker, the tennis player? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. He was so, number one in the world. Yeah. So um, Boris Becker just went to prison for eight months. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he declared bankruptcy when he wasn't really bankrupt. Okay. So I guess he was kind of lying. Where is he, in Germany? Yeah. Yeah, somewhere somewhere in some foreign country, you know, like that. But he said, this is the funny part, he said that he got scared because he was watching a bunch of movies about prison, and he was nervous about what he was watching. So I had to do my research. I had to find out what he was watching mm-hmm. to get him scared. And I found three of the movies that he watched. And I told, I'll tell you right now, they're the, probably the three scariest movies. <laughs> Here, you ready? The first one he watched was Two Bunks, Three Prisoners. <laughs> yeah, so that one was really scary. Um, Dropping the Soap 3, It's a Gang Bang. <laughs> nice. And Night Sticks During the Day. See, you yeah. went in the wrong section of the of the. No, no, this, this is what he watched. Did you this go through the he... video store section where it's got the beads? You have to go in a separate room? <laughs> oh, yeah. Is that where you found it? Mean, he could have just watched Shawshank Redemption. What's I don't the think one, he what, told you the titles. You were looking yeah. for them. And, no. what, and, what's, and what's the one? What was the good one with Sylvester Stallone where Donald Sutherland's the warden? He has it in for the game or something like that. That was kind of a good movie. Oh, I do kind of. Wait, yeah. wasn't it the one where he fake went to jail? No, no, he was like, no, like, like, yeah. no, he was like a good yeah, guy, a but good yeah, they, I can't remember what it was, but yeah, they and then like he made side deals with the prisoners, and then he like would have him killed or something like that. So he was a really bad war. There's a good but... Tom Selleck one where he goes to jail, innocent yeah. man. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's when I was in love with Tom Selleck. And he has such a lush mustache too. Yeah. So I mean, how can you not? Pay? Every every day I was in college. <laughs> so every lush. day at four o'clock, <laughs> almost every day at four o'clock, I'd go down to the TV room. It was this <laughs> room in the basement, <laughs> yeah. like a study room, but a TV kind of room. Yeah, and I would watch. I'd watch Prison Magnum P.I. No, I'd watch Magnum P.I. <laughs> yeah. Right? And I got yeah. down there once, and mm-hmm. somebody was down there watching. <laughs> this, is, this is how weird it was. I go, I go, no, no, no. This is for Magnum P.I. only. <laughs> and, the, and I remember I remember, there's a guy and a girl sitting there just watching TV, and the guy goes, he goes oh, okay, turn it on. And we, they, with me, they watched, watch Magnum, they P. watched P. Magnum P.I. Just one hour of watching <laughs> Magnum P.I. Yeah. If you ever wonder how, I, you know, like, what fucked me up. Yeah. It was probably the drugs in college. You know, what's, you know, it's a yeah. good idea. Uh, when the college football championship met, I think we should watch reruns of Magnum PI. We should insist that the main TV be Magnum PI <laughs> on oh. Monday next Monday. Yeah, <laughs> hold on a second. So, can, Teddy, can you put on Magnum PI? Let, let, let's tell so, story. so Teddy and I, BTV. Yeah. Teddy and I are in Dags on a Sunday watching football, right? And and we got it's three. Do TVs. you realize we just made it through prison talk movies without mentioning Shawshank Redemption? I just mentioned. No, Teddy, I just mentioned, Teddy mentioned it. You didn't. You just don't listen to what Ted says. That's okay. Did yeah. you say Shawshank? He did. Hear him say it. Yeah, he said it. But yeah, so we're in ta- we're in Dags watching football, and there's three TVs, and we do like two games, two main games, and then we have Red Zone on, and we're in there, and the Tony's there, the the bartender, and everything's cool. And we get in there, and it's Sunday afternoon, and I said we sit down. And I'm like, hey man, can we get uh, uh the Chargers on that? I love the Chargers. I'm like, can we get that on that? Can we get Red Zone over here? And and, and Tony looks at me, and goes, he goes, uh, that guy's watching uh, uh 
some I don't it was know, like, Seinfeld. No, was no, it, no, it was, it was a show where they do, where they reconstruct the cars. They take the old beat oh, yes. up car yeah. and they and oh, yeah. it's all, a yeah. lot of weld. There's a lot of welding going on. Yeah, so there's guys at the end of the bar with his significant other. You know, this guy he's like our age, but you know, he's, 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 he's wearing he's wearing yeah. he's wearing yeah. like the the jean jacket. He's dressed like a biker. He's got the rings. Obviously, it's he's it's midlife crisis all the way. He's in full midlife crisis mode, yeah. Yeah, and he's watching this and like and we're, we're obviously we're apparently helpless. We cannot change that channel. Like you cannot, you know. I'm like, we get the game on, and then there was a couple of guys sitting next to us, and they're just like, "What the fuck?" You know, <laughs> just like, you yeah. know, yeah. And this guy, we're yeah. saying it plenty loud enough, like, "Oh, we're in a, we're in a bar, and you're watching TV. You can't even fucking hear it." Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, and he, he just completely ignores us. And yeah. it's just was the volume up on that show? No, 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 oh, okay. no yeah. only football volume. But yeah, that was. So... I mean, he's probably the kind of guy would park in a handicap spot and throw garbage yeah. out the window, and he's driving down the highway. You wow, know, so. <laughs> wow. <laughs> he's probably that kind of guy. You know. <laughs> Wow, we know we know what kind of guy we all know that kind of guy. That, so, you know. Teddy, that is a stretch of stretches. I I cannot. We, I, we have to assume the worst. I'm I'm terrified <laughs> to go there. He's not a listener. Oh, whoa! If it, uh, you know what, and we love car shows we so <laughs> much. Yeah, and we love guys who want their car shows on. Yeah. Especially in pu- especially in public yeah. during during uh, the height of the NFL season. <laughs> yeah, son of a bitch. Okay, guys. Um, well, I there, I knew well, a guy that used to uh, watch um, uh, Baywatch and Speed Racer. Hmm. Baywatch, you know, Baywatch. Yeah. So well, that I mean, was on like Friday. That was when it was on TV, TV, like in the late 90s or whatever. But he went to a bar? Yeah. He had, he, that had to and be he a, masturbated in the bar while Baywatch he was watching. Had, dude, Baywatch was a very serious show. <laughs> Wait, wasn't that Pamela Anderson's? Yeah. I mean, Anderson? Yeah. <laughs> and that was, uh, what's his name, David yeah. Hasselhoff? Oh. Yeah, Hasselhoff. Yeah, he so was, he had to have Baywatch yeah, on. Yeah, he had, and he was, he was a big guy, so nobody argued with him. Well, he, well, he, had yeah. to, he had his Baywatch on, and then there was another day in the week when he was always there, and he had to have Speed Racer on. And so we were, so basically, the whole bar was held hostage held at the hostage. this one guy. Yeah. Well, yeah. well, you know, you know, you know how you solve that problem. You uh, spray you spray paint Sus Nicolian on his car handle when he leaves the bar, and then he goes into uh, ketoacidosis. But luckily, it was like away. on odd nights. It <laughs> Is wasn't there on... something wrong with you, Ted? I, I... I'm just offering solutions, simple solutions Jesus to problems. You know? <laughs> you know, now you know why I didn't hear Shawshank. I, I tune him out. Sometimes. Yeah, I would. I, I, you know what? I'm going to start tuning him out. All right, so <laughs> listen, people in the bar would thank me. We, we got to get. <laughs> yeah, <no. laughs> wow. oh, okay, I was just kidding. Let's see more dog shit on his car handle. All right, so hey, hey where's that guy that? Yeah, so. Where's that guy that always watches Seinfeld? Uh, I don't know, man. He walked out to his car. Uh, he started shaking and fell on the ground and dropped dead. Yeah. What what happened after that? I don't know. Ted was laughing. That's all. It's, 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 you know what happened is we turned we turned on the NFL <laughs> game and we were all happy. Yeah, we all watched the Bears lose by sixty. <laughs> Woo! Okay, okay I got the number one draft. So now we got to talk about this because yesterday George Santos, uh, Republican uh, congressman from New York, took office, and I think he's going to be perfect for the job. Right, I I really do, but we we kind of need to help him because. Um, he doesn't know the difference between lying and embellishing, okay? So when you fill out your resume, because we all have heard about it, right? But he doesn't know that difference, and I think it would be helpful to help him learn the difference between embellishing and lying. I think Matt, I think Matt, I know what? the difference. Could I help? Yeah, what okay. is yeah, the so, difference? Okay, so, my, so I think embellishing means, okay, I went to Harvard, but I graduated first in my class. That's okay. embellishing, when I really graduated 101st. <clears throat> Right. Lying means uh, I went to Harvard, but I really went to uh, you know Acme School of you know tool and die making or something. That that's lying. So you're yeah. just straight up lying. Yeah. So you're just yeah. You know, or I went to school, <clears throat> yeah, but I really didn't go to school. Yeah. Right. Right. Okay. So we got to help him out. So are you guys ready? Yep. Let's do I want to go through some of the stuff he said on his resume, and I want you guys to see if you can turn it from a straight lie to a nice embellishment. Yep. Okay, so here we go. He said at one point he owned 13 properties, but he actually owned zero. Teddy, turn that into an embellishment rather than a straight lie. He had an option to buy 13 properties, yes. and yep. it just didn't go through. You know, I mean, it's just business. So, so the deal fell through. The deal fell through, yeah. Well, he had so, offers out there, and yeah, they didn't accept yeah, them. Yeah, he had options to buy the properties, and, you know, for one reason or another, the contracts got canceled. So in the economy kind of turned. Yeah, you know, the worm turned. Okay. <laughs> Mark, you like that one? Yeah, that's actually perfect. That's what I was thinking too. It's better than when I was I actually first thought of, you know, like I own you. You're just driving down the street and you go, I own that one. 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 Can we go and inside and next, look? Yeah, no, no, no. I they own don't them want already. I, invent, I, I invented that. Yeah. It's like the guy that, that that's squ- I'm squishing your head. <laughs> So, uh, what, like when Al Gore said I invented the internet? <laughs> that was a good one. You know what? Did he actually say that? I think I, no, I, I, it could he, be. No, no, no. That could be misinformation, See, that's, that's too. An, we don't no, know. No, no. He, he did say that, but he said it in the sense that he was part of the committee 
uh, in Congress that wrote the, the sponsor of the bill to approve it to what it is. Oh, so, okay. you know, they always talk like that in generalities. They always say that. So without him, there would be he no internet. He didn't say I inter- invented <laughs> no. the internet, yeah. but he, he said, you know, whatever. I mean, that's how they talk. They all talk like that. But right. That one's right. hilarious because it's pretty. That one is, yeah. I, you know, I've, I've, that's funny. I never knew that. Yeah. He I, was I part of the, he was, he sponsored the bill to uh, take the internet to where it is. But so he. Thank, yeah. thank you, Al Gore. Here. Oh, man. So, Ted, you can stop saying that. Okay. Okay. All right. Here you go. <laughs> here you go. Here you go. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, George Santos said he graduated from three different universities. The actual number is zero. How do you turn that from a lie into an embellishment? Hmm, that's a good one. I was he, there. He, he actually went to the schools, then they became discredited right, while he, he was say, there. He could say, and, I, and he I, never graduated because that actually happened. Actually happened to a school. Yeah, right? but I think they were very. I think he went to like New York oh, University. No, no, no. They, Did they're, I put they're, graduate? They're... I was at the graduation <laughs> party. I, was I didn't graduation graduate. Party, yeah. I was at the graduation. I was, I was invited to the graduation. My buddy party. went yeah. there. <laughs> all right, all right. I, I got I got one right. I got this one. Yeah. How about this? He attended school locally, and using his life experiencing life experiences and hard work, carved out. A nice living, thereby helping him get the American dream. Bam. And then you just leave it out. How do you like them? Okay. 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 Again, we're pretty pretty vague. That's pretty vague. Well, that's, we're, 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 again, we're not lying. Mm -hmm. At no point are we lying. Mm -hmm. He did probably attend, like, he can just say, oh, when we talk about locally, I I, I thought he meant third grade. Yeah. Yeah. I thought you meant third grade. He came from somewhere, you know. Or the example is, I, I, I went to Harvard, but I worked in the cafeteria. I wasn't actually a student there. This, this <laughs> I went to Harvard. No, a lot, a lot. Yeah. I sat well, on the every, benches. Every day. I was there eight yeah. hours a day. Yeah, sat on the benches outside. Six days a week, yeah. Yeah, okay. Do you think when he's putting us all together, he's with somebody, and they say, whatever you do, man, don't tell the truth. I mean, because yeah, it seems the, like that is exactly what happened, right? Well, the truth is, I mean, the truth is he's done absolutely nothing. Yeah. I mean, the truth is, he, he's he's barely educated. He's barely ever worked. He hasn't really done anything. So he's qualified to be a congressman, obviously. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. And and no, you, he's not because he admitted he lied. No, that's that perfect. just qualifies him right away. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here, try this one. He said he went. He worked at Goldman Sachs and Citigroup. Complete lies. Yep. How do you turn that into an embellishment? Um, I invested in crypto one time, so, I, so I'm qualified to give financial advice. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I bought, I, a, I bought a mutual fund. Yeah, he was actually a customer service rep for a few months. That was it. Yeah, that's it. He just for worked, one of those companies. Neither one of those companies. Okay. Yeah, he just turned that into Goldman Sachs and Citigroup. Now, here's what I would say: if you just worked at some, if you just pick some place, I don't know, like instead of the top five most popular places, maybe pick like the fifteenth most popular financial institution and they wouldn't check but you know how he got you know how his excuse for those two uh lies where he said well my family company did business with them and we were connected and i was involved in these transactions so i technically was working on their behalf or for them but even that's like a gray area because his family didn't have a fucking company that fucking did anything. So he took it to a whole nother level when he when he said that. Yeah, yeah. Well, he's, he's a bullshit artist. Now this this one is absolutely the one that I love so much. Oh, he says worse. this this is the best one. <laughs> he says on his mom's side of the family had a Jewish background. Okay, so now he backtracked on this really fast once he got busted. So at one point he stood up and he said that he was Jewish. Okay, because his mom had a Jewish background. He says what he meant to say is he was Jewish. <laughs> yeah, which I guess means he's got a Jewish friend and he likes matzo ball soup. I don't know. But yeah, he, he literally told people that he was Jewish, but not probably Jewish. Trying to, try, try to get some street trying to get some street cred, I guess. You know, I guess you say you're Jewish. I don't know if that earns you political points these days. I have no idea. So I'm sure. I, I, I don't, don't get it. I don't, I don't get it. I mean, why not? Why not say he's like Muslim or he's uh Catholic or you know Hindu, you know what's why why Jewish? I wonder so why I, that one. So. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna throw. Well, it's probably because he was looking towards to uh, satisfy his uh, some constituents or something. I mean, he had to reach out to someone. Yeah, maybe so maybe his voters. To, yeah, maybe his voters to were heavily Jewish. Yeah, so, yeah. but I'm gonna make a prediction right here. First of the year, Ooh. I'm I give him seven days from right now. Today's the fourth. I get I bet I bet by January 11th he's out. You think so? They yeah. want him. They, I mean, they want him out, man. I, I mean, don't think, but I don't think they can legally. I mean, but but I think that no, let's just he, say they impeach you. I no, mean, there's he a procedure. Broke, he broke a law in New York. He broke a federal law. You can't lie to the federal government on an application. And he lied. Okay, it's against the law to lie when the government asks. When a, when a, there's a 
a document from the government. And they give it to you and they say, here, fill this out. You can't lie on it. Are you? Well, you can't wait, lie. You just can't you get so caught. Naive? You just can't you, get caught. Are you so yeah. naive to think that people just people do that all the time? But I'm not saying people don't do it. He's not going to get right. I don't That's think they're pinching a mind. I think the only way they're going to like unless unless like social media just bombards him and he just gets hassled too much. No, I don't think that motherfucker ain't leaving. No, he's no, not leaving. He ain't leaving. They're, well, they're, look, he will be gone. He, I'm, I'm saying he's not leaving on his on his own yeah. accord. No. Oh, he no way. He no, will. he's going to be gone. We in heard what happened. In, so in California, you probably heard there's there's, there's like a uh, the L.A. like I don't know they're called a committee or something, but they're obviously high ranking like political officials that <laughs> oh, I know control. What you're and say. so so there was some. So I guess they're all the Hispanic, you know. But there's there's blacks and Hispanics on the committee. But I guess the Hispanics were talking among each other behind closed doors, and somebody leaked audio footage of them talking among each other where they disparaged like the African American son who was adopted by one of like the gay members of the committee and it got out and obviously it spread like wildfire. So obviously they demanded that these people resign. And I think one oh, yeah. of them did, but one of them didn't because he's making $230,000 a year. Really? And legally they, can, I mean, they can scream at him and, and not listen to him, but I think his term doesn't run out for another year and a half. And honestly, if I were him, I wouldn't leave either because if it's that kind of money, I'll put up with a little verbal abuse. Because you're not, he's not going to make two hundred thirty thousand for basically a useless position, you know. I mean, yeah, I mean, I guess he's already getting deal. shit on. He might as well get paid for it. Right? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> so they just won't reelect him. You know, that would be the worst thing that'll happen to him. But hey, you know, if I'm, I'm drawing two hundred thirty thousand a year for you know basically scratching my ass every day and pretending I'm doing some work, you know, I mean, sign me up. So. Seven days. I don't know how. I don't know why. That's just, <laughs> just seven days. Seven man. days. Okay, it's, it's very right. specific. We'll talk about it next. Hold very on. Specific. Yeah. So, so yeah. So hopefully, what we're doing our next show, January tenth on Tuesday, um, the oh, day after the show. Six days from now. Six days six from days. now. Well, you know what? It'll it'll be it'll be in the making. It'll be in process, right? Okay. So speaking of shitheads, <clears throat> um, Donald Trump Jr. is selling combo Bibles and constitutions. Have you seen this? No, I have not. Yeah. It's, so it's a Bible with an American flag on it. Does that seem weird to you at all? Yeah. No. Yeah. And it's weird? got constitution. No. It's got like constitutional phrases and pages and that kind of stuff in it. I, I got on I had to get online and take a look at it. Yeah. And you can actually, this is kind of funny, you can actually buy a five pack of Bibles. So you can have one or two and then you can give them as gifts to people you obviously hate because it's a terrible gift. Could you imagine getting could you imagine Merry Christmas and somebody like who your is actually your friend gives you a Donald Trump Jr. American flag Bible. Did he drop the H? It's called America. 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 Flag. Yeah. Well, Teddy- well, you know, as ridiculous as that sounds, you know, I'm, I'm sure there's going to be the, the bad thing is there's going to be some people out there who legitimately buy into that, you know. And, you know, for us, it's like it would be like a gag gift, right? Yeah. It would just be funny, you know. But I mean, but some people mm-hmm. would actually take that at face value that, you know, so he's basically. Um, melding together, you know, American, quote unquote, America with the Bible. And that just gets people more confused, you know, so because obviously not all, but some of his base is is obviously very, uh, very ra- rabid and very, you know. But, but, but isn't that it's, weird? Because I don't, I don't think of the Bible as being American. But can I no, of course say, not. can I say this? Not, what, no. what he's doing is, is perfectly in line with um, what he does. They they just took somebody else's idea. This is not something new. It's not a new concept. Somebody else was doing this. American so flag Bibles. Yeah. Oh <laughs> there, there, shit. There's, there was this is being being done by. Uh, it's just funny. Yeah, but, just, no, but it makes perfect. They're putting sense. their name on it and they're yeah. doing it yeah. now. They're doing it, so now what they're trying. But but it makes perfect money. It makes perfect sense. So he, somebody else's yeah, idea. He's mar- he's marketing to a segment of the population that's very you know patriotic right. you know with America, which is good, and obviously very religious. And now he's just combining the two into one. So it's like a one-stop shop. Right, and next week they're coming out with the wheel. <laughs> American wheel? American is it, wheels. Is it more r- roundier? Right. Is it way more roundier? It goes way faster than those other wheels. Okay, so you guys, I don't know if you guys heard this, but um, the Russian, some Russian people were in, recently talking to Germany about getting uh, Germany into the war to support Russia against the Ukraine. You guys hear about no, this? I didn't hear about no. that. Interesting. You did not? No. No. Oh man, Vladi and I call him Vladi because yeah. you know we're friends. Yeah. This is what I would say to him, dude. Y- y- you picked a country that's zero and two <laughs> in world wars. Yeah. Do you do you really think Germany's just going to get involved in another war and go? Oh, you're talking about Putin. Yeah. You scared me. I thought you were talking about Vladi Divac. <laughs> <laughs> I love that guy, man. I'm like, what's he doing he, involved in this? He's he like Yugoslavian. Yeah. Right oh, he's Yugoslavian. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, don't you go. I'm no longer entertaining. If you're, if you're Putin, don't you go for a country that's won a couple of wars? I mean, or at least split? I mean, you don't go for an Ofer, man. 
You just don't. You wow. just don't go for an offer. Well, I guess my question is like, so the U.S. <laughs> is go the, U, the U.S. has given I don't know how much money to the Ukraine, and if you probably remember, like so hundreds, like fifty yeah. thousand, yeah. Like yeah. billions. Yeah. Yeah. Of so Zelensky, of so, Zel- right? so, so Zelensky, I guess you know who's the president of Ukraine mm-hmm. went to the U.S. Congress to plead his case. So basically, he was there to beg for more money. He's like, we need your help, and everyone, you know, everybody in Congress, like, Germany, and that's not why he was but, there. No, but I'm saying everybody in Congress stood up like obedience deals and clapped for him like this. You know, like he was the second coming of you know the Messiah or something, and you know. Like I said, I mean, these 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 countries, you know, I'm not just saying Ukraine, but like Afghanistan, where we've spent tens of billions of dollars over years, are corrupt countries. Where yeah, maybe some of that money is going to go to military spending, but I guarantee you, some of that money is just going to disappear, to, and it's going to go to the the powerful families in the Ukraine and never to be seen from again. But yet, you can't send the American people, uh, you know, you can't build a roads and infrastructure. We need to talk about that for the next six years. You know, we can't we can't do certain things here. But yeah, when someone's just so basically just rename yourself Ukraine and you'll get a billion dollars. Right. <laughs> so, well, we're so. not giving the Ukraine cash. Oh, we're giving them. We're pledging our, them. A ple- dollar we're pledging, support. Pl- pledging them. Yeah. We're giving them WIC cards. Yeah, they can they can get all the cigarettes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they can go to the commissary and get all the cigarettes. Because those things are beer. still available there. Yeah, yeah. They're bombing yeah. everything with the. the all right. If I were Poland, I'd be worried because Poland's on the border of Ukraine. I mean, because, you know, basically Russia, it, you know, it's Russia, Ukraine, then I think Poland's like right there. So poor Poland, you know, they're, they're, all, they're always on the receiving end of a lot of They're, bits they're always on the SN. Okay, yeah. Teddy, could I get you a new job? If I could find you a new job that would pay a lot of money. Mm-hmm. More than this one? There's, there's a little bit of risk, okay. but if I could, would you take it? Do, do I get to guess what it is, or you're going to tell me what it is? Well, I mean, if you want to guess, I can just tell you what it is. Uh, ice road trucker, crab fisherman, <laughs> no. uh, lumberjack. He's no, on Discovery no, Channel no, way too no, much. No. <laughs> Those are all Discovery Channel shows, Ted. No, and it's not parking wars or, or whatever, or storage, <laughs> storage wars. Storage wars, yeah, yeah where sure. you go buy a storage unit. Ted's no. going to work with Mike Rowe on Dirty Traps. <laughs> oh, man, I saw one where he stuck his hand in a uh, cow's ass <laughs> yeah, in order to, I guess, one. it goes through the ass to inseminate a cow. It was fun. Yeah. Gross. Okay, so you guys probably heard over the weekend that um, Russian troops were killed when their barracks blew up, right? You guys heard about? Yeah, this? I heard about yes. that. I think eighty nine okay. troops were killed. Yeah. yeah. So, so I guess the the deal was is they More stored they yeah. stored the ammunition mm-hmm. in the barracks so that Smart. <clears throat> so that the 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 guys could get to their uh, ammunition quickly. Oh, I thought you were gonna say they're like that guy that stuck it up his butt. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No. <laughs> And so and so so I think uh, yeah they, we ran out of room for this. <laughs> no, so didn't the Ukraine did did, did, the, did the Ukrainians do like a drone attack on that? Right? Is that yeah? What the so they dropped they dropped a couple of rockets and yeah. I guess it blew up the ammunition and all these people died. Yeah. And and Russia's really pissed off. Okay. Now yeah. you were in the Air Force. Yeah. So what if we got you a job as kind of like a consultant, mm-hmm. and all you had to do was remind them one simple thing: don't put the bombs by the people. Wait, you, he's going to be working for the Russians. Hey, hey, listen, listen, hold on a second. Don't say it like that. A job's a job, man. Okay. No, yeah. Well, yeah. You know, if I was a consultant, yeah, I mean, you just got to use some common sense approach. You know, I mean, sure, I'd probably take that job. You know, I mean, okay. I mean, the only there'd be, a couple, I mean, a couple of drawbacks. I, I'm assuming if you did it wrong, Putin would have you killed. Like he's, <laughs> I mean, I can't even tell you how many people he's already had killed. Right? I mean, had, I got a good I'd name. Have, for I got a good name for your my company. contract that I don't. Yeah. I got uh, Halliburton. Yeah. Just call your <laughs> Black Blackhawk. Blackhawk. <laughs> Blackhawk. Yeah. So, so no. here, here are the key things, right? The key things you want to keep, yeah. keep aware of. Keep the ammunition away from sleepy places. Yeah. Okay. Hand grenades out aren't toys, and the barrel of your gun is a bad place to put peanuts for later. Oh, okay. and no cell phones either. Yeah. No. Why, what's the matter with cell phones? Well, that's what gave them. That's how they uh, knew where they were and what was going on. Oh the my Ukraine's God. been using. They've been. Uh, everyone's got a cell phone, including the soldiers. And, yeah. So they've been using their cell phones sure. to figure. What they're doing, where they're at, all that shit. So interesting, yeah. yeah. So just making this like one on one mistakes, where you're trying to, you know, you got so the enemy. Yeah. So the other thing too is when when Russia f- started to invade, they were you know going after all the civilians and they they were taking everything. They were and the first thing they would take is their cell phones. So what the civilians were doing was giving them their cell phones and, and then, then doing the find my cell track, phone app. They, they, and they could and then they would then, no well. And then the soldiers, they would ask for their code so they can get in their cell phones. So now the Russian soldiers have, have phones. Right. And they were actually making calls on those phones. So uh, the Ukraine, you know, the Ukrainian what? citizens were given the military their, all their numbers and all that yeah, stuff. So sure. they were, it was, this This happened at the very beginning of the war. So so they, they knew, and they were, and they actually, they were, the soldiers were actually communicating with their superiors on these phones. Wait a minute. An unsecured line on civilian Have the phones. Ukrainian so they, people been without pornography for this long i had no idea it was yeah, this they do bad. call them cell phones you call them porn machines, porn machines yeah right. porn machines i mean it's, it's, listen you can listen 
I can, I, I can call a rabbit a kangaroo because it hops, but you know what? Hey, I did that today. I know he's... <laughs> You know, the, the, the problem with Putin is... Yeah, the kangaroo I mean, stole my ball. The problem with Putin or anybody who's like when one person is like so much, so so powerful, everybody's scared shitless of him. So like when things are going badly for him, which actually is, is to Ukraine's advantage, they're scared to tell him because he's probably going to have whoever's giving him well, the he's information. He's already killed a ton of people. Oh, yeah. Or, seven, people, or seven people, days. Fall window, people fall out seven, windows. People fall be, out windows. Putin's going to be dead in seven days. <laughs> Is it going to be like they're going to do a? Holy shit! They're gonna, they're gonna that's do a, my twofer. They're going to do a. They're going to do a Stalin on me. They're going to find him with a war for Just an overdose. Don't you, I, have you heard how many times he's, they've tried to assassinate him already? No, Putin, I haven't heard since this started. I'm guessing dozens. Who's, yeah. who, who's they? Well, I, I would guess. Let's see. He's the devil, so I would guess angels. I don't. <laughs> yes. I have no idea. Yeah. I mean, it's it's got to be tough. That's got to be a tough gig, right? I mean, you know that everybody's trying to kill you, and you know. That the guys in your community there, yeah. if someone gave them, I mean, if you walked up to one of the guys closest to Putin and you gave him, if you said, here's 20 million, 20 million bucks, I'm going to press the button, man, it's going into your account. I, I just need you to do, I just need you to walk up and do this or, or get him right here. And then you got 20 million bucks. The problem is he puts the people around him have something to lose. There's nobody around him that doesn't have anything to lose. You know what I mean? Oh, the these porn are, machines. These, <laughs> are, these are guys with lots of porn machines and, lots, <laughs> and they got big families. These are These are not... You know, throw away people. So Putin makes sure that he's make sure. That yeah, because everybody because, around him has something because somebody. To lose. Yeah, could, somebody has to be supporting so, him. You know, because like I said, he's a seventy year old man. Hold it against him. He's I mean, a, no yeah, gonna, a seventy year old man. So I mean, this he, is like it's like a it's like an East LA gang. <laughs> that's that's what you're saying. So Putin Putin yeah. runs it like a like a like gang. Like the Bloods, yeah. like the Bloods and the, the cri- mo- like the mafia. Don't leave the Crips like out. The mafia. He's the Godfather. He's got his lieutenants and his 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 dons under him. You know. Oh, so when the guy walks in, you're just like, oh, everything's good. Yeah, your wife and kids are over there at the uh, at the mall right now. And you're just like, oh. Yeah, I mean, obviously, he rules like most dictators. He rules through fear and intimidation, and then his critics mysteriously die under, what? You know, under mysterious Wait, circumstances. Wait, he said the, the Russian people love him. I saw him. Oh, he was yeah. he was on a horse with no shirt on. Oh, that awesome. oh, that's right. He has a ninety nine percent. He has a ninety nine percent approval rating. Of course, you know. So. Oh my God. Okay. Um, our friend Tucker Carlson is at it again. Do you he, guys what, know that? No, what's he saying? No, now? for a guy who allegedly likes women, he has a very funny way of showing it. Um, a while back, he posted online that women shouldn't be able to serve in the armed forces. In any capacity? Not In even... any capacity. Interesting. Yeah, okay, he, had, he had three major problems with women serving in the armed forces, and he was outraged by these three things. Number one, <laughs> um, maternity flight suits for pregnant women. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm serious. He he, he had a very he had a problem with this. He he did not think. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he did not think it was right that pregnant women, uh, because they would be, oh. um, you know, all disordered and chaotic. Because and they'd be thinking about and, their baby and lactating and yeah, all that stuff. yeah, <laughs> yep, yep. Um, the new hairstyles because <laughs> they obviously don't want you know women don't want to have to shave their heads, right? And got, now guys, I guess, don't shave their heads, you know. Only and in he's, boot, only in boot he's camp. really pissed about yeah, only that. Only in boot camp. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and now and he's also the third thing is he's super pissed that women are gross and they ruin a room full of hot guys. Oh, wow, that's, that that's, that's pretty, his vague. Words, pretty listen, vague. His words, not mine. That's pretty yeah. vague. So that's, that's that's the three major problems he has. So you must have seen Maverick like fifty times then, right? Oh my God! You listen to me. GI <laughs> Jane. He doesn't yeah. like that movie. He worst movie, loves that movie. Worst movie of all time. Yeah, you know he's locked in a room. You know when he's done on Fox, he goes Wasn't back to Jada his house. Was Pickett Smith in that movie? No, no, no. Oh, no. that's why he got slapped. Never mind. Oh. No, that was uh, that was, that was uh, uh, what it was. What Demi Moore. That was Demi Moore. I know, dude. She I still know. looked good with a shaved head. She was beautiful. It's alopecia, man. It's not a shaved head. No, I'm Demi Moore. Not- <laughs> <laughs> I love that. That was a great turn. So I guess I guess there was a general, a major general. She had a boob job, by the way, Demi Moore. Great. They, they, and they, they look great. Fantastic. <laughs> they're real and they're fake and they're spectacular. Because remember that movie? What was it? Um, uh, uh, the the movie, strippers one? No. She had she, she was actually in a movie. It was on the beach. Was it Blame It on Real or... What? Uh, she was in a movie yeah, she when she was in her 20s. Yeah, and, she had a run. She had a run back she, when she was She was oh, kind of yeah. flat chested. Yeah. yeah. And then when she got famous, she's. Listen, I, I have no problem with that. I don't either. No, no, no. Yeah, I'm, I'm all for it. Yeah. But yeah. we're talking about G.I. Jane and, and appearance changing. And, that that was kind of a cutting edge movie at the time. I mean, like a, a woman in I never, like Navy I, SEAL training. I never that saw good. that movie, but. Yeah, oh, it's actually really good. Vito Morganson. Vito Morganson's like the instructor. Yeah, you should see that movie. It's pretty good, actually. should see it. Yeah, it's actually. It's a really good movie. Yeah, it's actually pretty interesting. Okay, so a major general, Patrick Donahoe. Uh, he basically told Tucker. Now he got into a little uh, spat with Tucker uh, social media, and um, he said he's he knows nothing. He keeps opinions to himself, and, and he called him out on a couple of things. And then they were not going to give this guy his pension. 
they ha- were investigating him, and they were almost not going to let him retire. Oh, I heard about that. Yeah, yeah. He, I, I they, can't remember what it was about. Yeah, but yeah. I guess he retired. Um, uh, what do you call it, with full, full, yeah, full benefits, yeah, whatever all that yeah. kind of stuff. Yeah. And they were doing an investigation, and they were saying that because of the stuff he was, you know, this thing that they were going to, they were thinking about taking away his pension and everything yeah. because of Tucker, you know, because he got into this with Tucker Carlson saying, "Let's like, hey man, you know, we don't take advice, we don't take personnel advice from talk show hosts." Yeah, that's that just pretty benign. That makes that makes well, perfect. Seems the other sense. stuff he said was pretty intense. Okay, yeah, but, but yeah, you know, he was but, very upset. But it's kind of like you have to use your best judgment. If you're close to retirement or just about to retire, and someone's actually to go on a nationally syndicated show with millions of listeners, and it's and it's a very touchy subject, chances are you're going to say something incendiary. So that's his that's his his fault for doing that. That's well, his fault for doing. Well, he just said no. I'm not. You know, I have no comment. Yeah, I'm not going on your show. Well, you he know, probably couldn't help himself. Yeah, no, but but and then Tucker, you know, as soon as Donahoe says something, Tucker sent something right back. Uh, Tucker said that the military is soft, and then to accentuate his point, he sent the general several dick pics. <laughs> yeah, yeah, to really make it stand out. Yeah, well, you yeah. know, that's that's the way Tucker rolls, Had man. It coming. He, he, you know, when he's got that platform, he can really deliver. He can really deliver the goods. <laughs> By platform, you mean like a cell phone with a camera? <laughs> <laughs> He's still living in the kids. All right. Um, listen, I want to I want to end it with this because I'm saving this because I think this is the one of the funniest things I've ever heard in my life. You know that um, the Republicans are having trouble uh, finding a Speaker of the House. Oh yeah, it's the funniest thing. So yeah. I just read today that that uh, was his McCarthy. Uh, yeah, Kevin McCarthy. Kevin McCarthy. Yeah. So this is the fifth vote they took. Where he oh, six now. Six. Yeah. So he didn't get elected speaker because I guess there's like a hardcore wing of the Republican Party that just doesn't want him in there because they thought his election there was going to be a foregone conclusion. So it's kind of comical that he's Wait, still and, stalled. And at some point, he is going to say that it's it's rigged, right? And that the election machines are. Yeah. This I, is. I, I'm that, that's what I mean, you can't do with this, right? It's I'm why waiting. it's out there. You know. <laughs> yeah. What the hell? I mean, it's it's obviously rigged. He's, I can't believe he's not saying this. So what were you going to say about this? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm just, I, I just. Do you know, so I read today, and this is funny shit. So right after November elections, when the, the Republicans took back the House, his website said, um, uh, um, Speaker-elect Kevin McCarthy. So they, they changed his title from, from representative to Speaker-elect. Yeah, and I think one of the senators, Matt Gates, was pissed about that. He basically said, and I'm quoting, like, he, McCarthy, he's basically squatting in the in the speaker's position, well, no, no. and he didn't even earn it yet. It, you know, it so goes even further he's than that. Calling himself the speaker. So yeah. last week, yeah. he started moving into the to, the speaker the uh, the speaker's office. Oh no! He Without literally being elected, yeah. He literally had furniture being moved yeah. and moving his things from his office into the speaker's office. Let's knock down this Fargan yeah. wall this and is, this Fargan wall. So it's like, hey, so it's like I didn't get the promo- I didn't get the promotion, but I won in the office anyway. And like, oh, by the way, you, you didn't get the job. I'm like. What? Yeah. Um, those business cards you ordered, uh, you're going to need to throw those away. Yeah, that's where those squatting jokes are coming <laughs> yeah, exactly, from now yeah. because he literally has yeah. some of his okay, personal that's what, items that's, that's in that office funny. already. That's pretty funny. Oh, my God. Well, you he heard. Call, he called dibs. He you, called you know why all this is coming from, right? Because he badmouthed our Lord and Savior Donald, and he is now excommunicated from the party. Okay. Yeah. And all the people that are excommunicating him, all people we've talked about on the show Lauren Boebert, Jim, uh, jo- Jim Jordan, Matt Getz, um, oh, our very own uh, Mary Miller. Yeah, who, who and Jim still Jordan thinks... told Matt Getz, "Don't nominate me. I do not want the position. He fucking nominates him." <laughs> oh man, do, do, they don't want anybody digging in there. They, yeah. It's enough. I mean, I can't believe Matt Getz is still up. Uh, uh, he's still here. Seven days. <laughs> that motherfucker. <laughs> hey, that's crazy. I don't care. That that dude should be in jail. Yeah, absolutely, dude. That, that I, is I, some I, bad I, shit. And I'm not sure what he's got on his friend that's keeping him from. I, I guess wait, his friend I, read it on him and said some wait, shit. I, I, thought, I thought we're all equal under the eyes of the law. No, wait, no one. That's what they tell us every day. No oh, one dude, is above four, the law. Dude, four, 15 year old girl. Oh, so, yeah. oh, Teddy, there, he, he oh crossed, so there are some people above. Teddy, the law. he crossed a state line to have sex with a, a underage prostitute. Yeah. yeah. Oh, allegedly. Yeah. Yeah. He's Teddy. He's, <laughs> it's bad news. We talked about this. Yeah. I know you don't remember. No, I mean, yeah. no that was national news. Yeah. That was and, national and, news. And yeah. here's my favorite. So Marjorie Taylor Greene. I said Margie Jellybean. That's yeah. what I like to call her. <laughs> um, she was actually not against him, okay? But here's here's the reason why. She's pissed that when they were kind of like talking to McCarthy and trying to get stuff, she, those guys, Bobert and Jordan and Getz, they didn't they they didn't like get her anything when they were doing their negotiations. She wasn't <laughs> they, she didn't get anything, so now she's pissed. So now she's not going to hold out, and she is going to vote for McCarthy. Gotcha. Yeah. To punish them. To punish them yeah. because she didn't get anything Aww. when they were trying to get stuff in the negotiations. So so she'll, 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 she'll show them. Okay, good. 
Isn't that? I mean, isn't that crazy? Like romper room over there. It's, yeah, I was gonna say it's like kindergarten. Yeah. This is—is is this really? This is, dude. This this all happens. Every yeah. part of this happens. And I want to share something with you real fast. And I think I mentioned this before for our our state center, Mary Miller. Uh, she. This is funny because I had to look her up because I, I wanted to look up all the people that were supporting or not voting for McCarthy, all the Republicans. I did not know this. She gave a speech a while back that said she agreed with Hitler. Okay, that in order to uh, uh, move our war, move our country forward, we had to win the hearts and minds of the children to be a better Reichstag. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, to be <laughs> a better country. Did, she could have just said that without like mentioning that name. No, she's, a, she's, <laughs> Wait, she's a horrible person. No, could have just said you could have said, said, said we, you could have just said we yeah. need to win hearts and minds without actually saying because you know I think a lot of countries do that. They want yeah, obviously you want to win the hearts and minds of your population so they support you. You don't actually but, have to quote but Ted. Where does the hearts and minds come from? It comes from that swell guy Hitler, <laughs> man. He's I mean. Sure. Were there some bad things? Of yeah. course there yeah. were. We've talked about all of them, let's I think. Qu- let's quote one of the biggest mass murderers <laughs> in, of course in world being history. Sarcastic. Yeah, yeah, so. Yes, yes, of course we're being sarcastic. <laughs> but I, yeah, I agree. I mean, I, I don't know who in their right mind would speak like that, let alone speak like that on a platform that she has as a representative of, of people. Well, here's, I mean, well, here, well, here's the big takeaway. How dysfunctional is Congress if you elect that guy Santos? I mean, obviously, he did all these bad things. None of it mattered. He still got elected. Not what become... No, well, what, what be, it, it I'm sounded like he was... How many people do you think vote in that, in that district? Yeah. I don't know, but he, he sounded like he was... He's got to be tiny. Yeah. Teddy, he sounded like he was super qualified. Right. Yeah. I mean... It, well, he it, did it, if you just read his resume. <laughs> he was qualified. Yeah, but I mean, you know, he, the funniest thing about Santos is... I can't believe there's nobody in the Republican Party in New York that doesn't vet anything that was said. I mean, how, how oh, do yeah, you The do guy that? was married to a woman in 2020, up until 2020. He just got divorced two years ago. Yeah. Less than two years ago. Well, here, I can tell you. Hold on. I can tell you a funny story about that. I worked with a guy at, at my school, okay? And I'll just say his name was Charlie. Okay? Oh, I love Charlie. And he was, he was um, slightly effeminate, but he was married with two kids. And for a long time, okay, and uh, uh, just a regular guy, you know, and uh, we went to, we went out, you know, we left one weekend on Friday. Just and you Charlie, and him? Charlie was just, no, no. Oh. I mean, talking about we, we, <laughs> we, you know, everybody went their separate ways, and he was just a regular guy, regular haircut, regular clothes, you know, kind of thing. He came back on Monday, and he had uh, uh, spiked bleach blonde hair, all his hair is bleach white, spiked up. He wore uh, some funky uh, uh, Hawaiian shirts, and he told everybody that uh, he's gay. It's right over, just that change from Friday to Monday. So, so how, that how old is he? That how happens. old is he? I'm going to say he's about 35 at the okay. time. Yeah, I mean, he's probably. I mean, obviously, those feelings were probably there a long time, and he just decided to just well, blot the flower. Just bloomed over that weekend. But somebody, yeah. but somebody tapped him on the shoulder and said, "Dude, it's okay to be gay, but you don't have to dress like that. You oh. don't need to do." Listen, nobody. Listen, and here's a funny thing. Everybody liked him. He was a nice guy. When when he came out, he became so annoying. He couldn't stop telling I'm everyone. I'm like Peter Griffin, <laughs> uh, the family yes. guy, when he, yeah, when when he, he, turns, when he turns gay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He, he was the most annoying human yeah. being. Why? Because, because what was he discussing? He just he couldn't. He everything out. that was brought up, he just he had to turn it to him coming out and doing all this stuff. And, and it was a year later, and everyone fucking hated him. That he actually sucks. quit yeah, that's, yeah. because he was just so annoying. But he wasn't. Listen, that Friday, not annoying at all. Yeah. <laughs> and and I, again, I don't care if you're gay, straight, whatever. Just it, it can't equate to like I, I don't. Know, one day we're eating, we're eating something, and somebody didn't get their, they got their lunch wrong, like their lunch order wrong, and somehow he turned it around to him coming it out. Made it all about him. Yeah. yeah. And I'm just like, and and so finally, I just like, I'm just like, hey man. It's it's some fucking French fries. They're just French fries that weren't there. Yeah, yeah. It's got nothing to do. They're not. They weren't gay French fries. They weren't straight French fries. They're just French fries, man. I'm like, just let it go. Well, you, you, know, you, know, you know, what, you know, what I would just tell people like that, or just people who are hung up on whatever they're hung up on, and be like, you know, here's the thing. You know what? No, nobody gives a shit. Nobody gives a shit about you that much as much as you do, and that's you know, and we, you know, and I'm saying that in the nicest way possible. And nobody cares what you do behind closed doors with whomever you do it. You know, so. I got, I'm, I'm worried about myself. I'm not worried about your sex life. I'm worried about yeah, my sex life. I'm actually worried about what you do behind closed doors. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> That's yeah. fucking terrifying. Especially closed I can car close doors. The, I can close the door right now. <laughs> well, now that I know that people sit in their cars and jerk off... <laughs> Yeah, fucking. That was, man. That's the one thing I wish Elizabeth had never ever. Because now I, I'm, I'm, I sit at a stoplight and I look over and I'm just like, where is this guy's fucking hands? Do you remember? It was a thing in LA when I said that women masturbating in cars on on the 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 101 or whatever it is in in, in LA. It was a big thing, like in the 90s. 
How would you know that? Because uh, I don't remember. I don't remember the details. No, but I mean like it how was, would... On every late night show, they were always talking about women. It became a thing, and all the women were trying to get away with it. But it turns out, you know, I don't know. See they that? were just all <laughs> masturbating. I, I mean, I don't think masturbation is a fad. So if it was going on in the Any 90s. woman that was it smiling is, is while she was driving. Oh, it's yeah, Nobody can be fan. that happy in traffic. She's masturbating. <laughs> She doesn't even work. She just she just she's gets on the highway at four o'clock. But, but, but you know what it, is, no, but you know what is funny, and I'm you know what is funny, and I'm, I'm not I'm not thinking it's like masturbation, but like I'll, I'll pull in the work or something, or just anywhere. And like oh, you see, please, so, you see somebody oh, pull in, don't say it. you see somebody pull in, and they just they just spend like like instead of just getting out of the car and going to where they're gonna go, they just spend all that time in the car. That's Are you kidding me? That's you, Ted. You do. <laughs> That's you. I'm talking about when I go to work. I just get out of the car and go oh, to work. Yeah, okay. Go get a car and go to work. Like what? what Ted, get it over with. Ted. Ted. Every anyone who knows you, anyone who knows you knows that you pull up someplace you stop and then you just sit there for 10 15 20 minutes we always wonder stan and i were stan and i were sitting in the bar waiting for you and i was like i'm like what do you think ted's doing he goes well he probably pulled in about 20 minutes ago and he's just finishing and i'm like finishing what he goes whatever ted does and i I go i go we should walk out to the parking lot to go see and stan says do you really want that in your brain forever whatever he might be doing do you want that he's listening to wgn he's waiting for the segment to end (laughs) You're the only one here that listens to the radio, by the way. You're the only person I know. You're the only person wait, who, I know. Who's, wait, who's who listens to in the car? Who's the most popular Satellite? DJ? Who's the most popular DJ right now in Chicago? I have no. I have not listened to the radio in years. I, I don't li- I, dude, I, there's I, no. Is there like DJs, a? D- is there like someone like uh, my I listen to music or, or books? No, there's man. no. There's no talk. Show, there's no yeah. talk radio anymore like that on the FM. No, they I don't. Mean, is there any more? There's no opiate. morning zoos or anything. You don't need there. it. You have the real three idiots. That's right. No, but there's no more. Is like is like Howard Stern still on the air? Uh, he's on Sirius. Yeah. Okay, and then. And then the uh, man cow or Opie and Anthony, I no. think those Teddy, guys are gone. I, All right, yeah. No I'm idea. a dinosaur, right? I listen to radio, yeah, and, you I do. Have, and I get the paper delivered to my house. There you go. Oh man, that's insane, right? That is that is crazy. Do you know how much how expensive people in the world? Does anybody know how expensive the Chicago Tribune is? No, I F- don't. Five dollars for the Sunday paper. I haven't read. I haven't read that paper in years. So. Five dollars? I don't know. I'm just guessing. I have no idea. It's I'm a pretty afraid th- to look. It's a pretty thick paper. The Sunday no, Tribune not. is over three bucks. And like it's super uh, small now, right? No, it's that's probably the biggest one. Mondays and Wednesdays are probably the smallest newspapers. It's like nothing, but it's still like two bucks. I feel like how does a newspaper even work? It's like anything that they put out it's is already, already so out. old. I know. I know. But right? you know the funny thing is, I went to a Seven Eleven a uh, few days ago to like private buy a lottery ticket like in the morning, and of course there was like an older gentleman like in his seventies, and he actually bought like a newspaper. And I'm like, well, you know I've what? Never you know buy, what I, I like? I'm like a, actually, there's a lot of things in the paper that you're not going to get anywhere else. Because they still do have some journalists, and they are writing about things that aren't necessarily out there on every platform. So I'm, I feel like I'm sometimes the smartest guy in the room. Sometimes, yeah. like when you're by and yourself. And then when or... I look at how much I paid for that fucking paper for that one goddamn article, and everything else I know, now I feel. Hey, listen stupid. here. I'll tell you right now. If you're, if you're, if you are right for a paper, and, and you're listening, you know, hit us up, and, and we'll have you on. I, I want to know how it works anymore because I haven't looked at a newspaper but, in. But you know, I have picked up a paper. Years. You know, they're, they're all owned they, by one they, company they, now. <laughs> yeah, <that's> newspaper <laughs> Inc. Yeah. yeah, that's that's great. Then that means the news is going to be it's, really. That's, that's it's going to be really yeah, good I mean, stuff. There's like one. I mean, like I don't know, like Cox or somebody's buying every. Somebody's buying every newspaper. Tribune just sold last year. Yeah, but that doesn't help because then the it news doesn't help. They fired everybody. They're trying to yeah. Yeah, but then the news is is controlled. All that all that media is controlled by one person yeah. and one group Me, of one because idea. Because I'm the CEO of Twitter now. Man, did I get I the job? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You you got. Hold on a second. Let me check my phone. Actually, I think two yep. two people you have applied it. to be the CEO of Twitter. That, that I think was Matt knocking on the table. So one guy was like a <laughs> one guy was like an Indian guy from somewhere, and then yeah. one and then another. There was like a woman, like a TikTok influencer. Or was, something. That was that was bullshit. That was oh. just a, that was a gag. That was misinformation. <laughs> that was oh, a okay. gag. Oh, okay. Yeah, she she kind of she did a whole thing. She was a kind of uh, like a comedian, but she yeah she kind of did a whole thing where she like got the job already, and she was already. Do we, she was already basically doing the job. Oh, that's it was, it was great. Yeah, it was pretty funny. I was because I was looking it up. I'm like, T- Twitter doesn't have a CEO yet. That's awesome. And, yeah, th- and this chick, it was it was actually pretty. She's yeah. going to work and everything. Yeah, she sent out <laughs> memos and all that stuff. I, I actually want to know. Yeah. I actually would just want to see like if that res- like what, what's the job description of the t- Twitter CEO? Well, like, what do you do every what day? Do you, you come do? to the office. I what? Know. I, I, know. I mean, obviously, make sure that. People are t- tweeting. Oh. Tweeting. I don't. I don't know. Make sh- yeah. make sure that you, something inflammatory comes out so everybody can react, right? Because that's yeah. all it really is. I have noticed on Twitter though, a lot of the ads, they don't they don't look like ads now. They look like somebody yeah. on your feed doing it, just yeah. talking, and you're like, oh, what the fuck? Yep. It, it's an, an ad, but it, it doesn't say ad up there. So then, if you click and it says not interested in this ad, then you could 
opt out of it. Oh. But it's just, it looks like as if like you like it's your face and then you're saying something. Oh, okay, gotcha. But it's an actual advertisement. So it's a, so it's a bot. Yeah. Bot. No, 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 no. no. They like make a, it. They make it seem like oh. it's part of the content, right. And not an advertisement. Right. It's like somebody. Re- it looks like somebody that you're not following, but somebody retweeted something, and you start looking at it, and you go, and you look oh. at it again, and you're like, ah, fuck, this is an ad. And they, well, that's yeah. how they probably. That's Ooh. how they probably. What was that? I think I just got electrocuted. <laughs> okay. Are you dead? First day in the job. <laughs> First day in the job. Oh God. For look at New Year, new electrocution. All right. All right. Uh, let's put a let's put a fork in this thing, because all all good things we can't let it run two and a half <laughs> because, hours. Let's like be honest. Let's put a fork in this thing because yeah. the Howard Street Inn is waiting for us. Yeah. Yeah. I I, I haven't had any alcohol <laughs> or drugs. My water. In... My water's gone. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's sad. All right, so Ted broke uh, his water. now I got to pee. Ted broke his water. <laughs> that is, you know what? That's probably the most water I've ever seen you drink in my life. One glass. No, I've, I've drank water before, just not I'm in front of you. You're a liar. <laughs> I've drink. <laughs> I've drink. I've drunken. I've killed lots I've of drinking. people. Ted. <laughs> All right, Teddy. Last thoughts that you want to leave everybody with on this first show of the new year. Hey, it's good to be back for a show of 2023. Looking forward to many more and uh, probably a hole in one in Arizona. <laughs> so someone's not going to be really happy when we get back. Sorry. <laughs> I wouldn't worry about it, Teddy. All right, Mark. Last I, I, thoughts. Have, some, I have some final thoughts. Fine, well, I don't want any last thoughts. My great. final thoughts <laughs> of the show. I mean, I, I don't think uh, I think we need to drink. I think we need to I think we need to get back to our roots. OK. OK. I mean, I, I think, you know what, I, it, it's I'm kind of torn because when Teddy drinks, two things happen. One, he starts saying really stupid shit yeah. or two, he gets super drunk, doesn't say anything, mumbles <laughs> some stuff and starts playing on his phone. So there's got to be that happy medium. Well, we'll see what the listener poll, you know, we'll put a poll out there and see what they say. Ooh, actually, I'm lo- nice. actually I'm looking forward to like, say, getting feedback from the audience out there about topics to discuss, we- tips to discuss. Yeah, Ted. Because I just want to turn my brain off and just follow the, other people's suggestions. For the eight millionth time, <laughs> we get tons of it. I tell it to you all the time, and you don't remember. Write it down. Right? You, <laughs> I, 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 can't, it I can't tell if Ted's short-term or long-term <laughs> right, right. Uh, memory. It, they both suck. But th- this is not the first show that, that I haven't drank on. There's been several shows where I'm drinking non-alcoholic beer, and Ted didn't even notice. I didn't know. Seriously, right? They, Matt, they, Matt caught me. They still make that? Non-alcoholic beer. What is that, like spaghetti sauce made from, like, plums? <laughs> right. What the fuck is it? It's orange juice fermented in the sink with cornflakes. I don't know what it is. It's, <laughs> you soak it overnight. That is, that is terrifying. All right. Uh, man, we're going to wrap this thing up. Uh, it's great to be back. Show number 51, year number two. Man, I am so stoked. Uh, we got so much stuff coming up. Um, we've got some people coming up, some very interesting things we're going to talk about. We're going to enjoy it. Send us on our website, The Real Three Idiots, uh, the number three, on our TikTok, and our Instagram, on our Facebook. Send us. If you want Teddy to give a tip, tell us what you want to tip, and we will actually... I don't know, write it down and, like, I don't know, scratch it into his arm or something. Put a ring on it, you know. (laughs) We'll comply with your wishes. Yeah, because texting it. With that reason. Because telling him in person three times and texting him clearly isn't enough for him to remember what it was. Oh, uh, on the website, too, speaking of remembering things, we're going to put a composite list together of every guest that we've had on the show. Oh, yeah, yeah. So we're going to have a rundown of, of what happened in the past 50 episodes with all of our guests from all over the world, from fucking Iceland to Nebraska to... Greenland. <clears throat> sorry, sorry, sorry. Did I say green? No, no I was right. Iceland. You were wrong. I was, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, no, no. Uh, and so we're going to do that, and uh, and we're also going to have some pictures on there. Yeah. So we're going to get a lot of photos uploaded that are, are more accessible than social media that come and go and stuff like that. So the website's going to be loaded within the next, uh, I don't know, two to three weeks. Yeah. So keep the real 3 Keep checking it. All right, enjoy, and we will see everybody next week.